We're back. Bumble -dee, bumble -dee, bump. We are back. We are back. We are back. Shout out to the CIA, the confident, and intelligent, and assertive men out there. One love to the feminine, inspirational ladies. The FBI, how you doing? How you doing, ladies? How are you doing? How are you doing? Oh, what a day. What a day. What a day it's going to be. What kind of day is that going to be? I'm glad you asked, people. Today we have what's called a Smoke show. Smoke show, smoke show, smoke show. What does the smoke show mean? It's a show where you get the sound off and ask me, talk to me, tell me what the hell you don't like about what I do. What, 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 hold on. Feliz Navidad. Shout out to Maria with your sexy ass girl. I Chihuahua, baby. Yeah. Don't get mad at me, Keisha. Maria is, uh, she is making some, um, what is that stuff they call? They don't have chitlins. They call it something else. Menudo? I don't know what it is, but it smells good. It tastes better. Got a little tequila in the eggnog this year. Because Maria is like, hey, little papi, hi. Papi chulo, hi, 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 yo mio. Whatever they say, I don't know what it said, but it sounds good to me. It sounds friendly. Sounds like they actually like being there. You know, that whole notion of, wow. There's, like I said, if you didn't watch my Instagram yesterday where I was talking about how those women over there learn how to do this exercise called jaw ups. Jaw ups to where they can do this thing called smiling. When they start doing the jaw ups. <laughs> oh, you gotta go watch that shit, it was crazy. So, Maria's like, yes, we do the jaw ups, daddy. We got the jaw ups. We got the jaw ups, papi. Yes, 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 yes. They got mad. Shirley got mad. Shirley is mad than a motherfucker. Boy, on Facebook, I got some Mississippi Shirley's. Ooh, wee. 
If you ain't never seen a mad Shirley gate till you get a Mississippi Shirley. Whoa. The only Shirley that's a little bit worse than the Mississippi Shirley is the Chicago variant. The Chicago variant is like the Delta variant of the Shirley. Between the Omicron and the, yeah, Mississippi and Chicago Shirley's, mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. Mississippi and Chicago Shirley's are nothing to be played with. They'll take you out. All right, people, let's get the likes up. Let's get the likes up. Let's get the likes up. The only thing, a couple of things are required on these shows. Is you must be nice to me. I'll be nice to you. No over-talking me. And we're going to get right on into it. Um, Let's see if we can launch this thing on the book. Because I'm going to bring Facebook in here too. I want to see if we can bring Facebook in this joker. Black magic, audio, microphone, Zoom, audio. I don't know if you're going to be able to hear them on Facebook. But we're going to try it anyway. The problem is bringing Facebook over here. But you know what? Uh, uh, I think I have something figured out. Um, but while we're getting that running, let's go ahead and get StreamYards going up. And it's ladies only. It's ladies only until I decide to open it up for for guys, because a lot of guys kind of try to come over here, you know, you, you want to try to, you know, you know, do respect, try to build your, your platform and things, ah, build your own platform, I'm not coming over here to use my platform to build your own shit. Uh, new broadcast. I wonder if I broadcast Ecamm. I wonder if I broadcast to e I wonder if I broadcast at StreamYards to, I wonder if I broadcast at StreamYards to Facebook. Could I pick up the audio? That's the issue when you're using these Mac systems. So let's see, create the broadcast. Because then that means I can get people in from. Let's talk. All right, let's talk. Let's see. Boom. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see what happens. It's loading. How are we doing? Testing, testing. One, two, Ecamm virtual. Ecamm audio. Okay. Enter studio. Uh, going to add me to the stream. And we're going to, let's see which Facebook... Yeah, looks like we're going live on Facebook via EK, I mean, uh, via StreamYards. Boom! Take that over there. All right. So, you too, what it do? So, I'm going to grab the, the link from... I'm going to grab the link from StreamYard, and I'm gonna drop it over here. Ladies only, now here are the only rules. You must get on camera. You must be seen if you wanna talk to me. And as long as you don't over talk me, I won't over talk, don't over talk me. Stay on subject. Feliz Navidad. Shout out to Stevie Ray. D. Franklin's divorce of Megan Good uh, as the beta he was through all the warnings interviews. Thank you. I'm going to tell you guys something. Why? I was talking to somebody earlier today, and the whole premise is like, why are people so mad? Why are people so concerned? Why does people even care? Why do black men care because it affects our ethnic image? Megan Good and uh, Devin Franklin, Sierra and Russell Wilson. Alicia Carey and, and Steph Curry, because whether we like it or not, in this country, our ethnic image is linked. And every time you can see a successful, powerful, you can see a black man who's an NFL uh, MVP, Super Bowl winning quarterback, and he married to a baby mama uh, who got baby by Pookie and Ray Ray. That's the narrative. And you get another man who's going to go down in the Hall of Fame as one of the best pure shooters ever. And his wife that he married 
wants attention from another man. It seems to black men that no matter where they go, our ethnic image is always being challenged by our fucking women. You are a pastor's wife and you doing a show where you got some dude's legs up in the air and you're going to lick his booty hole. And what you hear more often than not is, well, that's his wife and she's an actress and this and that. Yeah, until I start seeing Tom Brady and Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos' wife doing this kind of stuff, black men don't want to hear that bullshit. Your husband's image matters more than anything you freaking want to do, ladies. Get that through your head. What you were before you were missing so-and-so doesn't matter. Because the same thing with the president, you know, we had all first ladies who were chill, did their role until Michelle Obama come out taking her fucking shirt off, doing push-ups and carrying on. Black men are tired of, do you not realize how that impacts black men's image? Everywhere we go, we're the tallest, strongest, intelligent, this and that. Men worldwide know one-on-one, -on -one, it's hard for them to dominate a black man. It's hard for them to challenge a black man one-on-one. -on -one. In a lot of ways. But the one thing the world can count on is black women got no problem stepping up to try to challenge a black man in front of everybody, thereby emasculating our image in front of the world. And it don't matter whether you agree with it or not, ladies. It should fucking matter because black men in one voice say it matters. That's why it should matter. It don't matter whether you agree or not or whether you understand or not. It's because we fucking say so. You have to turn your camera off. You have to turn that off in the background. If you're going to get on, come on the stream yard. You must have everything in the background shut off. You can't be watching yourself. This is not a time to show yourself. This is not a time to be proud. Turn all that shit off in the background. I, I can't. It doesn't go off. Turn that shit off in the background. Only look, this smoke show is for real disagreements. But here's the place. Don't come on here with your banners and you're trying to get your clout or whatever. I'm trying to understand what you don't like about what it is I do or say. Zero tolerance for bullshit tonight. Because I'm going to give you time to speak. But you got to come in here preparing. So if you click that join the link, make sure you're ready. I don't want to hear I'm dark. It's I got to get dressed or whatever. It's been announced for hours. Have your shit together. That's one of the issues. Of, let's see what's going on. Oh, it's streaming on. It's streaming on. Um, it's streaming on Facebook. What's going on, Facebook? The ladies will never, and here's the thing. I really want the disagreements. I really do. I want the issues. I want the problems because I posted something on my Instagram. 20, who would have known 25 years ago that women would be walking out of their house proudly rocking this look, right? And I had a picture of RuPaul up there with his pink wig and yellow earrings. And you know what you saw? You saw the Mississippi variant of Shirley, pop her big ass out with blonde, you know what, let's just do it. As soon as all you decide you want to post it, I'm going to make you famous. I'll make you famous. Y'all going to get enough of calling every black man you disagree with gay just because you can't win a goddamn argument. You're going to have enough, y'all going to learn. Y'all going to learn today. You're going to learn today. Bingo. This is what it was. This is what it was. That's RuPaul. Now, I'm sorry, ladies. This back in the 90s was, you know, was extreme. It was not something that men would have thought it would have been aspirational. But now, here in Atlanta, you see this every, every damn Friday and Saturday in the mall. Okay, so... Look at this, leave, rent, leave women alone. My friends are becoming annoying and it's getting suspect. See, here's the part. 
you punk. I, I want you to understand. Leave women alone. You got men out here defending this stuff and saying, because you point out the fact that women today look like you can make a very strong argument that women today, a lot of them walking out looking like drag queens in the 90s. You got the beta male raised boys. Beta! Talking about leave my mama alone. My friends are starting to get mad at me. Leave women alone. You, my friend, are becoming annoying and it's getting sus. Daddy issues. Beta! So every other group of men can have standards. What, what other group of men would accept cotton candy hair looking women? That are... I got beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes, lamb, rams, hogs, dogs, chicken, turkeys, rabbits, you name it! What other group of men would sit back and, well, somebody like it. So that's exactly what you were raised to do, why? Execute order 66. That's what you were raised to do, uh, son, husband. Let me defend my mama. Stop talking about my mama. Stop talking about my mama. Instead of, instead of people saying, you know what? Brother got a point. You know, glamour shots was supposed to be something you did for an anniversary, a graduation. Whatever you were supposed to do glamour shots for, it was supposed to be, you know, like, okay, that's what it was supposed to be. It was supposed to be something else, right? It wasn't supposed to be, you know, it's what you want to freaking work, right? That's what it was not, it wasn't supposed to be that. But now because you got a brother that actually just points out arguable, verifiable stuff that you can see, I said, who would have known? The post simply said, who knew 25 years ago actual women would be leaving their homes proudly rocking this look thoughts don't get mad at me and you got this beta leave women alone what other group of men would rush out to defend this stuff beta so that's what you get young man beta I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a rock your snock box. What, what's next? You going to start threatening me now? What's next? Hmm? What's next? Sign language, when, sign language when it starts to come from males, that's a real problem. That's a real problem. That's a real problem. But, you know, it's predictable. You ladies have decided to raise the very men you decided to call Beta. and wonder why you can't find no husband because you made your son husbands into your little defenders. So let's get to it. Zoe, hello. Zoe, hello. See? If you got, if you are in my stream yards and you have your screen blacked out, I'm going to boot you. If you're in the back, if you're in the backstage and I don't, if all I see is a blank screen, I'm going to boot you. Oh, that's a guy. Yeah, I said women only. Get out. It's not your turn yet. Look, Zoe? Yes. How are you? I'm fine. You got it together? Um, I think so. All right. What's the issue? Oh, I don't have an issue. Oh, really. God damn. No, 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 no. I do, no, I no. do, I do. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. This is a goddamn smoke show. It said the instructions right out there, and you're going to come in and not even have an issue. I just want to listen. I'm I sorry. don't want to know. Wanna Get out of my show. Get out of my show. You, the next person to do this shit, I'm going to ban you.
Disrespecting respectful. So you're banned now. Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Good. What's the disagreement? Um, can I request not to be on YouTube, please? Um, sure. What's okay, the issue? Thank you. Um, I feel like some of the arguments that you make are unfair, mostly because um, you blame women a lot for the state of the dating market today. And I think that's an example very, of what you're talking about. Um, saying that women today are not ready to be wives, I think is not fair. Um, based upon what? Based upon, I understand that there's a sec sector of women who aren't ready to be married, but I think that um, making that general statement is not fair toward women. Oh, okay, and first off, are generalizations fair? No. Bullshit. Well, Bullshit. Okay. How old are you? I'm 32. Bullshit. Generalizations are fair. Okay. I'll 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 concede to that. Um, All right. <laughs> so saying that women are not ready to be wives, based upon what? Um. Again, um, saying that they don't understand um submission and being feminine, and all that. What percentage that? of women would you say are ready to be wives? I would say probably like 20%. Ma'am, 20% out mm -hmm. of 100% of, out of 100%. If 80% are not, that means the, the, you just made my freaking point. Okay, but. No, no, um, no, no. Let's, before we move, let's acknowledge the math. You can't, the math ain't mathing. You said that you're making an unfair generalization. Did I ask you if you thought generalizations are fair? You said no. And then we had to go acknowledge the fact that it's bullshit. If the majority of something is true, it doesn't have to be 100%. 51% will do. That's the majority. The presidency is decided by that little of a margin. Okay? That's okay. how the world works. And then I'm asking you, the person that says, I make the unfair generalization about a group of women. You tell me that 20% of said women are ready to be wise. That means you agree with me. Okay, but also, um, the, the, I would the, say- but does, the, but, does the, but, does the, but does the math support my logic? Yeah, okay. okay. I, yeah, so, I'll agree okay. with you on that point, yes. Okay. But I also would caveat that with the fact that most men aren't ready to be husbands either. Doesn't matter. Hmm. Okay, and, and- Doesn't matter. Men have longer to wait. Men have okay. longer lives. See, what you've just proven is you're arguing in bad faith. You don't like the facts. And then it's, I know you are, but what am I? So what? If men aren't ready, all men have to be ready for is what percentage of women? All 100% of men have to be ready for is what percent of women? For the 20%. Thank you. So, okay. Okay. I'll... Is it that I'm unfair? Well, it's just the way that the arguments are framed, saying that. They're framed in logic, they're framed in statistics, data, facts, observable reality, things you can go see for yourself. But you, you run under the assumption that all the men are out here looking for I don't lay under any assumption. I said that we don't have enough wives for men who want to be husbands. And you just said 20% of women. Don't tell me what I did when you tell me two out of 10 are ready. Okay, I would argue that two out of 10 men are ready to be husbands. I don't care. It doesn't matter. See, it's one of these things of, well, women aren't ready, but the men aren't either. That's how they've learned how to argue. All right, but is a woman at 25 and a man at 25, do they have the same market value? No. Oh, okay. Whose market value is higher? Um, for the dating market or marriage? <laughs> The sexual marketplace, a 21-year-old woman and a 21-year-old man, who has the higher sexual marketplace value? 
the woman. 25 year old men and 25 year old woman. Who has a higher sexual marketplace value? The woman again. A 30 year old woman and a 30 year old man. Who has a higher sexual marketplace value? A man. The 35 year old man and a 35 year old woman. Who has a higher sexual marketplace value? The, the man. And as I keep going in five year increments, will women ever overtake a man's sexual marketplace value? Not in the long term, no. No. Will it be will it will it will it grow at a steady rate or will it get exponentially larger? Meaning a fifty year old man and a fifty year old woman, will they have the same difference between them as a thirty year old man and a thirty year old woman? Or will it be greater? It'd be greater. Thank you. So by math. You've just said women have roughly a 10 year period before their value dips below men. So it doesn't matter if men aren't ready. Men have a fucking lifetime. Women got 10 years. Okay. That's, that, that's actually one of the points I, I agree with you. One of the few but man, points. That's at the, but that's at the basis of but, all my arguments. But, um, Sorry, oh I, I I don't mean to change the subject, but um, but I before recall... we're not going to change the subject, oh, we, we, we can move. We can ask another question, mm -hmm. but you gotta admit that there is nothing that you made in your initial statement that lines up with the facts of what I just said. Yeah, I'll 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 agree to that. So, can you honestly say you listen to what I say in good faith? Yeah, absolutely. I well, do. then if you did, ma'am, then you would have listened to those facts, those numbers. I don't just say stuff to be saying it. Okay. But just because I don't break every time I say something down in a five-minute explanation of a, of a quip. <clears throat> okay. Next question. Um, I've noticed, because uh, I've watched a lot of your content in the past couple of months, and um, I noticed... Uh, especially, I think it was last week that a woman called in. Um, she was a 45 year old virgin. And um, I've noticed that when it comes to virgins calling into your show, I feel like you don't give them fair treatment. You just label them all as socially awkward and just hiding behind their face. That's as a not way true. To... That's ma'am, that is patently false. And I have at least three shows I could pull up right now. Okay, then I'll just go back to the woman that called last week, who um, was 45 years old, uh -huh. and, you know, and a virgin. Uh -huh. I felt like you weren't being fair to, to her, uh -huh. mostly because uh -huh. um, you felt like she was delusional, which I actually uh -huh. agree with you on that. Uh -huh. um, however, what did I say? What did I, she, what, did, what, I said she was socially awkward. When was the last time that woman had a date? I think she said like 12 years or something. Last time, I'm sorry, relationship. A relationship? Oh, mm -hmm. I, I know it was a long, long time. No, 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 no. So you, you, you're going to bring this person up. So I need you mm -hmm. to be versed in what you're talking about. How long ago was it? I'll be honest. I, I don't recall exactly. Okay. So you're going to bring something to the table to discuss and mm -hmm. accuse me of doing something, but you can't even have a firm enough recall. It was 20 years ago. Okay. I you knew got it was a 45 year old woman who was a virgin who had not had a relationship in 20 years. Mm. If that's not socially awkward, what, okay, first of all, that doesn't put you in a socially awkward category. Then what about talking to a man that's 52 years old for two years? Hmm? Yeah, I, I'll okay. admit that that's was the woman No, 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 no. But was the woman socially awkward? I feel like you can't judge that. I don't care. No, I don't know. I don't want you to know. I see that's the feel. You feel like what, when you listen to that woman speak, does that woman sound like she's socially normal, socially above, or socially below? When it comes I, to, when it comes to re romance, relationships, and dating. I feel like she is, and I understand it's my opinion. I feel like she's strong in her conviction. And I that's don't something... care, ma'am. That's not the question I asked. Please answer the question I asked. Okay. Was she socially normal? Was she socially above normal? Or was she socially below normal when it comes to the marketplace and dating? She would be considered abnormal. Abnormal? Mm -hmm. Awkward. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, you, would, you, you could use that, that term. So awkward. you're going to tell me you feel she's what? 
I feel like she's a person who stands strong in her convictions, and that's something that's ridiculed today by the that's world. That's bullshit because and, that's the same woman I asked her, all right, ma'am, if you're a Christian like I am, are mm -hmm. you in a church right now that facilitates single marriage? What was her answer? Uh, she said, not really. No. So she's not that strong in her convictions because if ultimately God and her pastor and everything else we talked about, she would be in that one place. See, what you, what you really are showing is you're talking through your feelings. I, I'll acknowledge that. But All right, then. Who can, can you control, acknowledge that? Can, you were, no, 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 no. no. Well, okay. So you said that I do things that don't line up mm -hmm. with what I've done. And you haven't taken them. You can, you've, you've, at best, you've acknowledged it. How about the mm -hmm. fact that you just don't like some of the ways I say things? No, because like I said, there's some things that I agree with you on. And even well, but in the that thing conversation, you brought up, you brought, you brought up, you, how often do you talk to her? I mean, I mean, let's be we're splitting hairs too. Mm -hmm. When you talk to a virgin, how many people are virgins these days? What percentage of the population? What do you think? What percentage of the My cousins, population? most of them what are. What percentage of the dating oh. population? I don't give a shit about your cousins. Okay. Um, of the dating population? Yes, I would say that's all that matters. Less than 10%. Less than 10%. What state do you yeah. live in? Massachusetts. You think less than 10%, less, uh, keep going. Give me an a approximate number, plus or minus two. Okay, I would say, uh, and we're talking about adults here, correct? Uh, that's the only thing that can date, ma'am. I would, I don't well, know. Well, teenagers can date too. So. But um, yeah, I would say. What the fuck? Why are we talking about adults, ma'am? Well, teenagers typically. Most... I don't talk to fucking teenagers. Okay. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Um. Yeah, I would say eight percent of eight percent of yeah. the dating population mm -hmm. is a vir a virgins. Yeah, that's what I would imagine. Okay. And, and I, I'm a I'm a, I'm a Baptist, so most of the people that I. Uh, the circles I run in, they're mostly virgins. And how old are you? I'm 32. And what state, what city do you live in? Um, I, I, I'm like an hour away from Boston. Uh huh. And you want to, and the dating population is above 18. Mm -hmm. You think that, uh, so when you think of dating population, is that 18 to 34? Yeah, that's or, that's my. You think mm -hmm. eight percent of people. Between 18 to 34 are virgins. Well, honestly, I, I was going based off of a study. I saw that um, about 35%- That's a yes or no question before you tell me about the study. Okay. All right. I guess I was being um, naive there. So I would say probably, okay, we'll say 1% then. See, ma'am, I want you to understand. Mm -hmm. I have just deconstructed your entire argument based on numbers. You said that I was unfair to virgins. And the ma but, vast majority, need be, hold on, the vast majority of people aren't virgins. To be a virgin yeah. in a dating market over a certain age makes you a little bit awkward by definition. As somebody who spent two freaking years coaching and speaking to incels and voluntarily celibate men, virgins and MGTOWs who actually have had training and study in how to actually approach this and to counsel and coach this. I'm not just some guy in a suit sitting up here making up stuff. As I've shown, as I deconstruct you, I know what I'm talking about. Maybe, just maybe, I know more than you do. Yeah, and I would, I would, and that's why agree. I say what I say. I didn't say it to hurt her feelings. How many? There's a movie called The Forty Year Old Virgin. Was that a drama? Was it nonfiction? Was it sci-fi or was it comedy? It was comedy. Because it's laughable in our society today. Yeah, and I. Just... All righty. Okay, go ahead. I'm just go ahead and finish okay. making your point, though. Go. Yeah, I just felt that it was rude essentially to ridicule someone for that it I wasn't ridicule. Not... oh no 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 mm -hmm. is the truth ridicule no no hold on hold on what's no no hold on Liz. i gotta back you down 
Uh, what's ridicule? Ridicule would be because you did call her socially awkward, and okay, uh, if Is you're that going. Ridicule? Well, calling someone socially awkward, is that, would you say that would be a compliment though? Is calling somebody obese ridicule? No. Calling somebody a, a diabetic, is that ridicule? No. Is calling somebody what they are ridicule? Okay, but in Christian... No, ma'am, no, mm -hmm. no. You snow, this snowflake generation, a 45-year-old virgin who has delusions of how she's going to find a husband, who mm -hmm. says she's strong in her convictions, but she's not even in a church to facilitate single Christian marriage. And you're defending, fair, you're defending that and you're saying I ridiculed her by what? Well, Calling to be her fair, socially awkward. What should I have called her? To be fair, most churches don't call, facilitate. No, what should I have called her? You Honestly, and I know it sounds mean, you probably should have just called her out for being lazy. I did that too. Oh. But the, but both things can be this both things can be true. She's lazy mm -hmm. and socially awkward. But I want to go back to the beginning. Mm -hmm. You don't even like generalizations. I would disagree with that, but okay. You said you don't think generalizations are fair. Well, I did walk that back though once you No, um, you walked it back after I challenged it. Mm-hmm. So, ma'am, due respect, it sounds to me like you're, you sounds like to me, you what I would consider to be one of these snowflakes. You're too sensitive. <laughs> ma'am, she's a 45 year old virgin mm -hmm. who still thinks because she hasn't had menopause, she can have mm -hmm. children and God's the final person yeah, to decide. I, and I'm a Christian. I, I, I know that was delusional. All right, ma'am, ridicule, ridicule, ridicule. Mm -hmm. Is there a way to tell somebody the truth and not ridicule them? Yes, yes, how, for sure. And how, and how do you determine the difference? Um, well, how do you it, tell? How do you determine the difference? The difference between ridicule and telling some of the tr someone the truth is that the truth is often told in love and wanting to help someone. I don't. You can't love somebody that you don't know. It's about intent. Don't put okay. that on me. I don't have to love a stranger. It's about intent. Okay. But I, I understand what she's going through because I okay. I had experience with that. Go ahead, Elizabeth. Hi, Kevin. Good evening. How, how are you? I mean, I, I gave you plenty of time to talk, ma'am, and um, you're just going to keep going on and on. I, I thoroughly refuted your points, and you're still going to babble on, so... I can't keep doing that. That's just not even, that's not okay. I mean, I'm okay with having a discussion, but I'm gonna sit here and just keep, well, you're just wrong, but that's okay. You can feel how you want to. I'm not responsible for your feelings. Elizabeth, what do I get wrong? What's the problem? I mean, I actually agree with what you were saying as far as social. Now, this is the smoke show, so you gotta have a disagreement. You have to have- Oh, okay, you, so the and, and If you don't have a disagreement, if you're not a detractor, you shouldn't be here. Um, well, I wouldn't say I'm a detractor, but I do have a disagreement. Okay, what and is it? The disagreement is, is that I believe, you know, I've been watching your show for a while. You're my guilty pleasure. And uh -huh. I feel like you break down women a lot. And it's it's needed. It's break down women. Stuff. Break down women. What does they that break mean? down the whole that way they move, the way they think, the way that they talk, how they handle men, how they handle you on the show, all of those things, and break it oh. down. And I just feel like there's not building up. There's no. What? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Am I a therapist? No, but you're a coach, a life coach, right? And yeah, you, you pay for that service. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You pay for that service. Absolutely, but I feel like there should be some kind of social responsibility as an influencer. Hold on, wait a wait a damn minute. Up. Wait a damn minute. Hold on. I got a serious question. Do you hold Steve Harvey and all these people equally responsible for the lack of criticism? Absolutely. The, really? The, the feelings are all mutual, especially people who have a platform. 
And I really, like you, I'm not saying you have to be free 99 about it, yeah. but just a little bit of nuggets. Of oh, so, so, so you, so what you're trying to basically get us to believe is I never offer anything constructive. I, I don't do any of that. It's all just tearing folks down. That's all it is. Right. No, we're not into generalizations. Remember? Well, well, you gotta, well, cause I'm, cause I'm not listening. I'm not hearing what you're saying. So I'm trying to understand you, what, I don't build people up. I don't give them actionable information to follow up on. I don't, I don't think it's enough. No, I think it's a, enough. A little, a little, enough. I think it's a dribble. Uh, enough. To Are you out? The, uh, okay, man. Mm -hmm. Do you hold any of the daytime talk shows that have existed for my lifetime mm -hmm. to such the standard? To be, no, 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 you don't. What do you mean? So you expect for someone to sit down and give someone a balanced, thorough analysis on a live call-in advice show. Not necessarily, but you, it, it can be. No, it can it's either you do or form. you don't, because you cannot tell me that you have not seen me sit down and t hell, the average at best video. How long did that, how long did that original video last? It was two hours and it was. No, the, the average at best segment. When I talked to that one lady, how long did that last? I'm sorry. It was lengthy. I watched it and. Um, so about how long, about how long? It was it was an hour, wasn't it? For hour? her, for her, it was. It was twenty two minutes. It was okay. Oh, I'm talking about the whole show. Okay, just. For I her. said the. I I went back and said the the average of best video. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. And, and in so, that okay. and in that video, mm -hmm. in that video, of the twenty two minutes, how many times did I offer constructive advice? Honestly, it was just here's the thing. Uh uh. When before you move, before the here's the milk, before here's the thing. Because see, when you guys come up here and say I do something, you're gonna have to stand on this shit. I'm standing. Well, you, you're, no, you're not. You're not standing too well. No. How many thing. times did I offer constructive, actionable advice? I, I did. I would say that you did. You have, it's been so while since I've watched it. It's been a year now. You just had the year anniversary video. So uh -huh. let, me, let, so, me, uh -huh. let me use my encyclopedia of mine and go back. And there well, if you're going to say I don't offer something, I'm, I'm expecting you to be able to point to something because I know what I do. And you're just not right. I just feel like the rhetoric is not. I feel, 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 feel. Okay. Uh -huh. I believe uh -huh. I hear what I hear from the show is the rhetoric is, uh -huh. is more, you know, um, it's more you got to do this, but instead of this is how you do it. So the rhetoric is more like, boom, in your face, bow, shock. Ma'am, hold on. I'm, I'm, trying to be, I'm trying to be as polite as possible. I need you to speak like people don't know who you are. Because okay. what you're saying makes no sense. Boom, pow. So... I feel like the boom and the pow is, is that, okay, let's go back to the average of best. Yes. So she had to have a realization like, ma'am, you're not a eight, nine, 10. You're not a Kelly, Beyonce, and a, a Rihanna. How many, did, did I offer any actionable, practical, real world advice in a 22 minute interaction? I want to say yes. I can't remember exactly. You want to say was. yes. Get rid You're, of the dog. This is what I'm showing you guys. Of Most the, of my critics are disingenuous. Money. Most of my critics are not honest critics. I offered that woman to go to therapy 11 different times. Oh, that's for the that's no, ma'am. For the first no, 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 no. Don't over talk. For the no, no, no. Okay, so no, here's, no, here's you can't. Oh no, hold on. You, no, hold on. I have to do this. See, what this is, is about feelings. Feelings over facts. It's all about a feeling. I feel you should do this. I feel you should do that. I need to be Gandhi up in this bitch. 
But yet you got people selling y'all by act like a man, think like a woman and lying to you. And y'all don't sit around and hold anybody else to such a standard. But then I'm supposed to sit down and talk to a complete stranger and give an in-depth coaching session. Get the French toast out of here. I mean, that's I mean, I don't know. Is it me or does that seem a bit seem a bit insane? bit insane uh, do you have a criticism or you uh, um, you have a critique or a criticism uh, Hallie hello I have a criticism okay what is it yes I have a criticism okay what is it why do a woman has to why do a woman has to be rated as a Beyonce or a Kelly to be accepted who said they had to be rated as a Beyonce or a Kelly to be accepted? I mean, that's what you've been been saying. No, 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 a nine no, or a no, 10, no, 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 no. I had never said you have to be this to be accepted. I challenge you to bring in. I challenge you to bring any of that. I dare you. I challenge you to bring up where I said you have to be at this level to be accepted. Prove it. Were you always talking about a nine or a ten? Ma'am, like it or not. So like no, no, like it or not. There are levels and there's always rankings. I'm 52. How old are you? I'm 25. You ain't you're 25. Your hair ain't even 25. Yeah. Your wig ain't even 25 Say years that again? old. Your wig ain't even 25 years old. My wig? Yeah, your wig, this is your not wig. A wig honey. 25. This woman is a 20, 25. See, this is why you got folks in here coming. I'm 25. That's why she's even laughing. 25. Lord have mercy, Jesus. Okay. 25 times two. Okay. No, no, no. See, yeah. if we're not going if we're not gonna be honest, we don't even need to have a conversation. I'm I'm trying to just understand your your frame of reference. But if you're going to sit here and lie, there ain't even no point. 25. Y'all remember uh, Saw? Do you have a problem with women? She's sitting up here in the Barkle lounger. She's sitting up here in the Barkle lounger with uh, her feet soaking, talking about she's 25. With Vic Sav on her, on her knees and Tiger Bomb on her elbows. I'm 25. Somebody get me another pack of Newports in a in a pickle. Twenty five. Fuck out of here, man. And the point is, women don't like the fact that we have introduced that they have to rank. They rank us every day: your height, your income, your profession, your looks, your ability to provide everything else. Men know there's ranks, and women don't like rankings. Twenty five. Hello. How are you? Got to unmute yourself. I'll come back to you. Go ahead. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Hi. How are you? What's the criticism? So it's not really like a big criticism, but I will say one thing that I haven't heard you really touch on. And I know that when you started, you were addressing the men. But when we talk about high value, I don't really think high value really equals salary because oh, that's, I have okay. dated. Oh, oh, okay. It doesn't matter what you think. Wait, well, I'm going to tell you why it doesn't matter what you think. Men decide mm -hmm. who high value No, no. Let me tell you why it doesn't matter. Because we decide what high value is as men, not you. You get to pick from who we decide are the best. Well, I will say this. Um, as far as giving advice to people, I believe that there's more that a man should offer than just salary. To well, a, where, a where have woman. I ever said high value is just salary? I know that you, you've you never explicitly said it, but... No, I've not explicitly easy. said it because I've not said it. But every time we talk about high value, we talk about salary instead of uh, what else can a man People in the audience, pay? this is another disingenuous critic. Look on the screen, please. <laughs> I want to look at the six fucking points I've often said high value is. 
Man making $10,000 a month or more, $120,000 annually. Dallas, Houston, Austin, San Antonio. Number two, earn that money for three to five years. Number three, high value men recognize him as a peer or a potential peer. Four, he has a network of high value men and others. Five, he is visibility. It's kind of like LinkedIn level. And six, he has utility. He's useful to others and the group. That's how you attain high value status and how you maintain it is through dime, discipline, integrity, morals, and ethics. Where in the French toast does that ever just say salary? Well, what Where I'm does saying, that ever just say salary? Before you move so, on, don't, don't well me. Don't well me. I'm not this, moving on. I'm trying to actually continue but, expressing. But where does that just say salary? Where did that just say salary? Well, what I'm trying to explain to you is that most of the people that come on no, here- No, I can't be responsible for what most of the people- How about, Kevin, I was wrong. What I'm saying is what people think, not what you say. No, so- See, hold they on. can't do I'm it. They can't say. do it. They can't, she can't do it. Ma'am, I have just put up all of the principles in bullet points pulled up from presentations I've had over a year, disproving your point, and you refuse to say- you know what, Kevin? You do say it's more than just salary. Now you well, want to move the goalposts. Let me say something to you. No, before me... you move the goalposts, I want to stick right here. You said it's more than salary. Did I just not describe many more things other than but salary? But did you yeah. let me did I just say more? Did, more I just say many, did I say many more things other than salary? But can I explain? Did I, did I say salary, many more things expressing. other than salary? But what you're Did I say many more things other than salary? You're not going to get past that point. You're not going to move the goalposts. You're not going to move the goalposts. You, you'll, you'll sit there muted until you answer my question. See, this is what I'm not going to do. We're not going to overtalk. We're not going to play this game. Did I say more things than salary? Hold up a one for yes, I did. Hold up a two for no, I didn't. A one for yes, you said more than salary. Two that no, you didn't. See, shame, insults, guilt, and the need to be right. I don't need Execute to order 66. This is the need to be right. It has been shown on screen in front of 17,000 people. And she, 17,000 people, and she refuses. How do you have a good faith conversation with somebody who disputes observable facts? Ma'am, I don't know what you want from me. We can have the conversation, but you're going to at least acknowledge the fact that I've not just said high value of salary. What she was going to try to do is say, well, I know I said that, but what now what I want to point I want to make is, well, people, what they hear, I can't be responsible for that. And instead of answering the question, you know what she does? Just like most women, I'm going to look down at my phone. I'm not going to pay attention because I, I cannot admit that I was wrong. I cannot admit I was wrong. I just can't admit I was wrong. Can't do that. That'll be too much like being agreeable. So Go on, Maria. I no, was muted. No, That's why no. I didn't say anything. Well, I told you how to come out of it. Raise one for yes, two for no. So yes, one. Yes, you did address that it's more than just salary. However, what I'm expressing is I see what, and this has nothing to do with what you're saying. What I'm saying is the people on the internet, these other men that's taken, that's not coming to my responsibility, lives, not my responsibility. I'm not saying you're responsible for that. Not my responsibility. I'm not, saying that. I'm, not I'm not, I'm not even. So why, uh, I mean, the reason I keep saying that, ma'am, is how can I be responsible for what other men say? But what why? I'm saying to you is I'm not holding you responsible. What, what we're doing is having a conversation for the man. I can't have a conversation about something I don't do. Okay, but we're having a conversation for the masses, for the men. No, no, no. We're having a conversation about my smoke show. We're having a conversation about the things I do and say that's in the title. It's in the description. It's not about the audience. It's not about the chat room. It's not about the blogs. It's not about the reaction videos. It's about what I do and say. And that's only fair, ma'am. Do you want a performance review about what the fuck you do or what people say about you at the job? Why are we cursing? I'm not cursing. Thank you. Because I can do what the French toast I want to do on my show. Don't try to be a snowflake when you come up here accusing me of something. I don't say. Don't come up here trying to be a snowflake, trying to accuse me of something I did not say. And then when you prove it wrong, you try to do it end around. So, all so I'm nothing. Is, no, so nothing. 
you said you want to. We're having smoke. So let's have smoke. Um, right? Yep. How about this? Bye. What I said is I'm not going to have rude. Smoke is fine, but I will not deal with somebody who's going to be a fool and be rude. Like the first lady, she had plenty of smoke, but she's not being disrespectful. I'm going to try to, uh, see this guys, this is why sign language is so important. They will, women like her will gaslight you. Why are you getting mad? Why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? That's why women don't like my platform because I am showing their, their toxic behaviors, their narcissistic behaviors, their dysfunctional, disagreeable mannerisms. They don't like it because more men are starting to wake up to like, wow, I didn't realize that this is the problem. I thought I was off. No, no, young brother, it ain't you. Um, Elizabeth, I'm going to go ahead and make some space. I'm going to drop you back down into the background, okay? But you're welcome to come back up in a minute. But I'm going to kick you. And everybody, if you're not on camera, I'm going to kick everybody who's not on camera. See, smoke shows are more than fine. I have no problem with the smoke. But you got to, I can only have conversations about what I say, not what every, what somebody says about me. Hello. Hi, Taylor. I'm going to go ahead and mute you. Unmute yourself. All right. Hello. Hey, Kevin. How are you? I am well. How old are you? 30. All right. What's your disagreement? Um... So I have a couple and I wouldn't really say they're disagreements. It's just things that maybe I don't like as much. Okay. Okay. Um, so number one, um, I don't really like how you attack realtors personally. Um, I feel, I feel like it's a little bit of attack and I feel like some of the things that you say, how do I attack realtors? Well, um, on your show, you've made, and maybe the word attack is too much, right? Mm. But on your show, you've made several statements about people who are in certain professions, and you've brought up real estate a lot, right? No, 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 no. There's a context, whatever I say. What was the context? Mm -hmm. Um... I don't want to, I don't want to say what the context is. Well then ma'am, been... hold on, hold on. If you can't say what the context is, you can't tell, you can't object to what I said because there's a reason. Okay. So I know at one point you did say that it was a profession that you can make lots of money that doesn't require any sort of education or any sort of talent. No, um, no, that... no. I said it doesn't have, it doesn't require any higher level professional certifications like going to medical school, going to law school, things like that. It just requires you going to get a real estate license. Mm -hmm. That's what I said. Most high income positions where a competency gets compensated requires secondary education and certifications, professional boards, things like that. Things that are sales related, because I come from freaking sales. Mm -hmm. So, when I say real estate, it's no different than saying, it's similar to saying insurance. You can make a lot of money selling insurance, but the averages are the same. But, but this the, is, this is. But the barrier to entry, the barrier to entry is low. And the, and the way these kinds of professions are sold or marketed to the masses is on income potential. And if you're going to be honest, you will not, you will agree that they tell you the sky is the limit. You can make a lot of money doing this, but the reality is that is for an exponentially small group of people. Most people make less than 50 grand. But this is, Kevin, you're a numbers guy, right? So this is my thing. You have made the comment, and I quote, anybody can be a freaking realtor, right? And I remember being on your live when you said that. And if that's your opinion, that's okay. But then I look at the numbers and I'm like, well, why can only 26% of people pass the test then? So you make it. Ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. Okay. You're a realtor. Great. 
I don't, I mean, I'm not, I'm not trying to be funny, man, but there's a bigger disagreement. If this is about your professional uh, feelings, okay, fine. So people don't like salespeople. So what? Right. Why does this, why does it affect you so much? If you're good at what you do, it does, and no, it okay, well then let's move. Uh, let's do me, but let's do, do me a favor, man. I said what I said in the context of the, the, the upside being promised to so many people and it just not producing. Just like you said, only 26% of the people can pass the test. So the upside is promised. And a lot of people think, a lot of our black women think they can make big banks selling real estate. And they're foregoing their prime years of trying to learn how to couple and partner with a man for this dream of manifestation of wealth and riches that's not out there on paper. That's the ultimate point. So don't try to make it seem like I have something out for realtors. That's not it. There's a context. What's the next issue? All right. <laughs> um, I wouldn't say it's really like an issue, more so like an observation, right? And I think this is to, to piggyback off of what the last woman said. Um, and maybe this is what she was trying to say in so many words, or maybe not. But I think that where she was getting at was that I get what you're saying. That is not what you convey and that's not what, you know, you're trying to push, but it is that a lot of people end up just associating that. Okay. So put it like this. Sometimes oh. men with men with money are, they feel like they don't have to bring anything else to the table. Hold and, on. Uh, folks, y'all need to get the likes up and we're going to shut down the chat rooms everywhere. You have 30 seconds to get 3,000 likes up. I'm shutting down chat rooms of Facebook and YouTube. Go ahead. Men with money don't feel like they have to do what? I think that, I, I mean, I don't find you responsible for this, but I think a lot of the context that what men take away from it is all they have to do is be a high dollar earner. And that's it. You know what I'm saying? Um, and so. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You already watch my content. I can't be responsible mm -hmm. for what people, what you say people take away. At best, yeah. that's third hand knowledge, me taking your word on it. But I got a, I got a reversal. Mm -hmm. Prior to 2019 and me starting to talk to women, what did women think they had to bring to the table for any man? I think it's just, I mean, it's subjective to the woman that you're talking to. Really? Ask men and they will tell you women thought they just had to bring a vagina. That's why the question, what do you bring to the table, is still one of the most offensive and unanswered questions by women in the West. Mm -hmm. So the notion that men and high value men, the top 10% of men actually know their value. They know their value because they can see the market. Mm -hmm. What's the issue that men actually that men are men who men who men have recognized as having high value and women who want these men what's the issue that they can make have well, options and make rules or what what's the problem no 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 i don't think okay. that there's like any issue with that right uh -huh. but i feel like i feel like this so kevin you know how you will tell like some women who are overweight right that mm -hmm. you can't get, you can't get a high value man in uh, like that Okay. Okay. So I tell a, again, are you talking about a specific woman I spoke to or in general? No, I mean, you've said that to specific, yes, yeah, specific women that you've okay. talked to. Okay. Yes. Um, and so I, I guess from, personal, but it's usually more than just being overweight. There's usually more things to that, but go ahead. Okay. So I've, I've seen personally that you've spoken to some women who, I don't know, maybe they seem like well-around women and, and well-rounded women and, and, you know, have certain values, but then maybe they're, maybe they're overweight. And you'll say, what makes you deserve a high value man? Like, you know, you let them know that they can't get a high no, value man. man. Okay. Okay. See, you can't conflate things. I know my content very well. If I say something, it's not just because somebody's overweight. It's a multitude of things. But let's just take it your way. Let's just say she's overweight. How much weight are we talking about here? So, I mean, I guess I could use a specific, specific girl. She told you that she was like 
200 pounds and she was 5'9". And she was looking for a high value man and she said that specifically. How long ago was this? Mm, it was a couple months. 200 pounds and 5'9". Any yeah. kids? No, she didn't have any kids. She didn't have any kids. She was very educated. And you were like, and you want a high value man? Like, you know, what makes you deserving of a high value man? High value men. Very educated. What do you mean very educated? She was she was currently in school for her master's. I forgot what state she lived in, and she had a corporate position. Uh huh. And what was her and what it, what was her and her height, weight, dress size? What was her look? Where'd she rank herself? Or what would I have ranked her? I don't think you ranked her. I don't think you ranked her. All right. So, uh, I think I know. She was an attractive. No. I, I, Okay, five nine. Even if I go off of this, yeah, sure, let's do it. She's five nine and two hundred pounds, and very, and she's corporate. So frick, toast, what? Who gets to decide what they want? Men. Thank you. Men and what men of and what and where do you see men of means choosing to deal with women the size of NFL running backs? I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Where do you, where do you see men of means? Where do you see men of means choosing to? Excuse me, not deal with marry NFL size running back women. Every single day. Where? Where? Because this is bullshit. They say this. Prove it. I'm in Atlanta. Where do these choose to see these women get married? Not deal with. Not date. Marry. I mean, I'm friends with some of them, so I'm telling you every. And they go, no, 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 no. Your friend. I'm going to interrogate this. Go How ahead. long they been married? How long they been married? Well, I mean, we're all in our 30s to early 30s, so. How know, long they been married? Years. How long? Years. A couple years. of years. A couple yeah. of years. A couple of years. So, and and how is the husband? Uh, wealthy. How old is their husband? Old. I thought you said, how is he? How old is he? We're on the same age. I don't know what that is, ma'am. We're all in our 30s. What does that mean? 31 to 39. Don't play coy. Just give me the number. All right. I don't About 35. About 35. Yes, and how old I is she? Several... No, ma'am. You No, no. You know several, so give me numbers. See, I want you to understand how many women come in. 9% of black women earn over $75,000 a year. But I want you guys to understand how many black women come onto my show claiming to be high five figure, six figure earners. I need you guys just go back to my my catalog. I want you to go back and just look. Most of the women come in all claiming to know all these women. They're all so married and da 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 da. It's bullshit. And even if that's your friend set, so what? So what? It's your friend set. Where do you see this happening? Where do you where do you see this? And this is the problem, young black women. Here's the issue. This is your this is the problem. You are getting bad information from older black women telling you that it's okay. You can get the outcome you want and it's mm -hmm. not true. That's not what I said. That's just because not you have friends and just because you know some people in general, when I talk across the board, do you, do you think that men are actively saying, you know what, if I had to make myself a top 10% man and all the other things that come with high value, I want a woman that's my weight and more. Is that what men want? I wouldn't say. I mean, is it what men don't 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 merely? Is it what men want? Is it what men want? Do men want no. women that weigh more than they do? No, that's not. Thank what I'm you. Suggesting. Thank you. But but you. you There's know. no but, ma'am. It keeps going back around this bullshit. Young ladies, this is why I feel so sorry for some young ladies. You get so many of these ladies that just keep. Well, it's just because I, because I have a friend that's fat. I got a friend that married a guy. So what? Only in our community do our women keep trying to force overweight women down men of value's throat and try to make it seem like there's something wrong with you. No, there's nothing wrong with you, man. And you young ladies, these are your aunties, your big sisters, your mentors, your peers. Stop listening to them. Because if they don't have a ready supply of men of value looking to wife, looking to marry, 
they don't know what the hell they're talking about. I bounced you out for a reason, man. Hello? Hello. Hi, how old are you? Hi, I'm 23. How you're going to have to hold the phone steady. Oh, sorry. You need to set it down or something. Okay. Uh, what's the issue? I guess my biggest issue is I definitely think that it's very important with you giving us a man's perspective because women, we are dominating a lot of the space, but dominating a lot of what? The space in terms of like social media. Um, Can you do me a favor? Could you sit the phone steady so it doesn't keep? Oh, going? sorry. Just set it down. I can't. I can't trust your hand. Set it down. I don't have a stand, so okay. Sit I'll on just... the sit on the, the TV or not against a book or something. Because when you start talking, it'll start moving. Okay. But go ahead and say what you were saying. Um, I think it's very important what you're doing, and giving men a voice. But however, I guess for me being 23. What do you suggest? Like, I don't hear the what do you, what should women like me be doing? That's not a disagreement. Don't... That's not a disagreement. That's, a critique is I'm not telling 23 year olds what to do. Well, your daddy's no, I job. guess that's your daddy's job. Oh, my dad's retired now. But okay, well, go ahead. That's not my job, though. I mean, I'm not, no offense, young lady, but I'm not a, I'm not a one stop shop. I'm not supposed to fix all the problems of the world. Right. I agree. Okay. What's the disagreement, though? A disagreement or a critique? It can't be do more. I do enough. I'm not doing any more. Okay. My question is, what do you want and how actively are you actively going out to get it? Well, I think it's difficult because I'm, I'm in college. So fucking what? So, so what? So what is difficult? I have a video up today right now on modern women lazy daters. Why do you women think that a man of value should be easy to get? No, I don't. I don't I don't think that. Okay. I don't well, think it should be easy to get them. I think that's what we've been fed for so long. Possibly so. But and here's a, here's so... the thing. Here's the thing though. If it's not a disagreement, I got to bring somebody else in. I, I really do. I need So that's why I'm trying to give you room to have a disagreement or a critique, but it doesn't really sound like you have one. If that's a, if that's the case, then I'll have another stream later on. But I need to go ahead and get this one, this stuff accomplished today. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Um, hold on. Bring the smoke. Bring the noise. See what I want you guys to understand is these. Uh, well, you're hurting our feelings. I want you guys to ask yourself one question. How often do you hear women when they talk about my tone or this or that, that they have any empathy for the men who have to deal with this stuff? Um, oh, you're back? Um, let me see what's going on on Facebook. He's cutting everybody off. You damn right I am. I'm not going to let anybody babble on, Nikki Young. I have a show to run. And you guys have been allowed to just run your mouth without saying anything. If they don't have an issue, Nikki, I get to the person that has the issue. Unlike you and women like you who have been able to dominate spaces where men are, I'm not just going to let you talk all day because I have to get something done. But again, gentlemen, you're not supposed to run your show. You're not supposed to do anything. You're just Facebook. supposed to. You're just supposed to just What's let it go. Facebook? You're supposed to let it go. Ain't that right, Big Nick? Big Nick. Big Nicky. Big Nicky. He's rude. Right. I want you guys to understand something. He's rude. I don't like it. You see what he does? Uh-huh. But see, the thing is, can you say he's wrong? Can you say he's wrong? No, I can't. I just don't like it. He's gay. He's gay. He's gay. Look at him. Look at him just talking. He's gay. Look at him. He's gay. He, he hates his mama. I'm telling you right now, my mother wish she could get a hold of some of you broads. My, my mom got a loaded 38 waiting to cap. <laughs> She's like, oh, my, 
Y'all better, y'all better keep t- could take my mama's name in vain. She might roll up on one of y'all. Oh, I love some of these people who are blocked too. Some of these folks are blocked. They don't even know they they don't even know they're hidden. They just talking to me. That's right. See, I'll block them. I'll, what I'll do is I'll block them or restrict them. So they'll just be sitting there typing furiously, typing war and peace, and ain't nobody seeing it. But they're so deluded, they think they're talking to somebody else. Thank you, KJ. I love you, too. Again, I am ready to have the conversation for people who want to hold the conversation. But it has to be more than just about. Uh, all right. Look here, dude. I'm going to keep bouncing you guys. If I don't see a picture, yeah, I got to go. Now, are you ready to have the conversation? You want to start this again from ground zero and this let's, let's act like normal, happy, healthy individuals? Is that what we're going to do? Absolutely. All right. So what's the issue? So with this show, I just want to make sure that I'm clear on what's going on because I just came in here when I first got put on the first time. Mm-hmm. Is the issue only with you that we're supposed to be addressing or is it, can we address the issue that we see with some of your followers? No, 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 you can't address that because I can't. Con- okay. No, uh, I know you no, can't. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. How old are you? I don't know. I always ask the question. How old are you? I'm 33. What do you do for a living? I work in retail. Okay. Well, wholesale, I should say. Okay. Mm-hmm. Any professional is responsible for their work product. I cannot be responsible for how men or women use my name. Earlier today, you mentioned something about high value should be more than just money, right? Yes, but I wasn't saying that to attack you. I'm my, talking but, about but my, your, my, and I know you're not responsible my, but my, for that. But my point, my point is it, it has never just been about money with me and I've often made the distinction. But you're saying that people out there reduce it to money. Yes, I know that. I can't that be not, responsible for that. I understand that. I understand that completely. So I'm not coming up here saying that you're responsible for it. I'm not saying, oh, you're mean, you're, you know, I'm not doing that because some of the things you say are very factual and some of the shows that I watch, some of the women are very cringy. So I get it. But what but, I'm saying, like, if I have the opportunity to some of the people that's taking your content and they're twisting it out of what exactly is truly being said, that's the message that if you allow me to speak it, I would like to speak to no, those people because no, no, they take your no, content no, and no, 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 here's okay. No, I can't do that because you know, women take stuff out of context too. Yes. Both hold men on, and hold on. Women. But the point is, Women have been saying, women have had advocates for the longest and they've taken content to speak for their benefit. I'm more concerned with you talking about people taking my, con- uh, my, my content out of context. I'm more yes. concerned. I'm more concerned with women like you understanding where they're coming from, whether they get the quote right or not. That's what I'm more concerned with, not whether they got my context right. Do you understand the frustration, the human emotion attached to a man who is resorting to listen to another man to funnel his experience through for you guys to get it. Empathy for the people using my content, not whether or not they're using it in a factual, actual way. That's what I would rather have a conversation about. Because due respect, ma'am, what you will be doing is sitting doing what black men have had too often. You don't talk about sit down and let me tell you what's wrong with you. They don't need that anymore. They need no, the, I don't want to do that. I need you to, That's but, but they to need, do. but they need, but they need women who are empathetic and wanting to say, you know what? You may take the con- take it out of context, but here's how I'm but trying to help. Go ahead. But Kevin, you didn't let me finish my statement, so you don't even know where okay. I was going to go with it. Because it's really not even the context of the show. That's the point. That's not the point. The point is you're supposed to have a criticism with me. A criticism or critique, not the fans, well, not the I comments. That's what I asked you when I first came back on, right? I asked you that when right. I Right, and that's back. why we're, I'm allowing you to get that through because that's not the purpose of the show. 
So you said, can you talk to the, con and I'm telling you why I'm not allowing it. So if you have a okay. criticism or critique of something I do, that's fine. But if you have a criticism or critique about the, the commenters, the, the, everything else like that. Okay, so is, I, do have a crit play. I, do, I do have something I want to say to you directly. Go ahead. That you should actually allow people to express themselves before cutting them off. Thank you. Nope. Have a great night. No. That's why I don't do it. See, I want you to understand something. They are so not used to being put in a place. They're so used to being in control. They're so used to being your principal, your mama, your grandmama, your everything else. And you are seeing black women like her physically, mentally, and emotionally break down in real time that someone is challenging the gynocracy's power and they don't know how to do it. See, she thought that was going to be drop the mic and leave and you don't realize you're fucking with the best. All you did was prove that you short circuit when you can't win. A black woman running away from a losing conversation is nothing new to a black man. A woman running away from a, a, a conversation or a position that they can't win is nothing new to us. What's new is we're finally calling you out saying, stop being a goddamn snowflake. Be the strong, independent woman you say you are. I'm a PhD. Be everything you say you are. Stand up and be strong. I don't need a cookbook. But no, it's not working. It's not working. And in two days, you'll be in front of that Christmas tree, opening a gift you bought for yourself because your husband don't exist. Sorry about that. You fucking with me? You fucking with the best. Hello. You got a little road noise going Hello. on back there. Hi. Uh, do you have your windows up? Is it okay if I don't be on the show, if my face don't be on the show? Well, what you need to do is, um, can you pull over? Because you got some road noise going on or you going somewhere. Oh, you want me to pull over? Well, I don't want, I okay, prefer you on. not to be driving and talking at the same time. Okay. So I'm going to mute you and give you a second to pull over. I got you. Hold on. All right. Yeah, she thought she was doing something, didn't she? I'm going to just drop this mic and leave. <laughs> you better. <laughs> oh, my God. Thought she was doing something for sure. I'm going to just drop this. You should let somebody say what they need to say. How many times we see that as little boys on the playground? Girl hitching and run behind the teacher. We know y'all's tricks. Mm -mm -mm. So now what men are doing right now, men are looking at her and saying, what, you want me to go to the Christmas party? You want me to go to New Year's Eve? Fuck this shit, I'm out. Mm -mm -mm. Fuck this shit, I'm out. No thanks. Don't mind me. I'ma just grab my stuff and leave. Excuse me, please. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Nope. Fuck this shit, I'm out. All right then. I don't know what the fuck just happened, but I don't really care. I'ma get the fuck up out of here. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Brothers is like, fuck this shit, I'm out. Hi, how are you doing? Crazy, okay? How are you? I'm good. How are you? I am well. How old are you? I'm 23. All right. What's the issue? Um. Well, I just had... Um. Well, it's not really an issue. It's like more oh. like a contradiction. Uh-uh. Um, about something I say? Yeah. Go ahead. So, like, you tell you tell women twenty and um, well, thirty and younger women who are thirty and younger to get married. You know that they have a certain time frame to get married and have kids. But then you tell men that are thirty and younger that they should wait till they're older to like get into a serious relationship. What's the, kind of, what's the first up? I don't tell all women that. I say that women who want to get married. But what's the contradiction? Okay. What's the contradiction? So, 
I mean, are we not, are women not supposed to date guys the same age? No. Is that what you're no. trying to say? No, you no, you're not. No, 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 you're not. No, nope. Nope. What's okay. contradiction? Uh, what, what men at 25 years old in 2021 is making enough money and is, is influential, wise, and stable enough to have a family of three? I mean, okay, but uh, 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 uh. is that the if, hold on okay, before you say uh, 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 before you move the goalpost? Is it the norm mm -hmm. that a man in his early to mid twenties is making enough money to be able to provide for his wife and his two to three children, be stable and financially fit enough and able to plan enough, to, like they did back in the forties and fifties? No. That's why men need time to become a man who can provide. It requires competency. It requires experience. It requires time on the job. It requires things. This is why it used to be you did not see 21-year-old women marrying 21-year-old men. It was common that you or your husband was seven, 10 years or older than you. In the black community, however, you young ladies have been lied to by your mama, your nene, your granny them to, to tell you, you need to stick with guys your own age because that you're their competition. You cannot trust what women over 40 who are unmarried are telling you about relationships because they're still in the dating market. So to answer your ultimate question is that men and women are different. A woman between the age of 18 and 30 is at pretty much the peak of her marketplace value. And a man is at the lowest part of his. I just went through that example about five or six callers before when I said, who has a higher sexual marketplace value? A 21-year-old man or a 21-year-old woman? She said the 21-year-old woman. I said, what about a 25-year-old man and a 25-year-old woman? She said, the 25-year-old woman. I said, what about a 30-year-old man and a 30-year-old woman? She said, the 30-year-old man. That's why I tell young women that if you want to be married and have kids, you have a shorter time frame via nature to get the major parts of your life together. That's not a Kevin Samuels thing. That's a biology thing. So... Because I'm, I'm like in a relationship, we're the same age, and I don't have any kids, and I talk about marriage with him, you know, do you think that's a bad thing right now? Uh, well, I, that's not the purpose of this show, but my point is, you should, know, be, you should not be talking about marriage with a man. A man, if you're a wife, okay, there's a lot of things wrong with that scenario. Okay. A lot of things wrong. You're in the same age and you're talking to marriage with a 23-year-old man. A lot of things uh, off. With, without more context, I would say no. Okay? But okay. that's a different conversation. Have a good day. Okay. Bye -bye. You too. Thank you. Bye-bye. All, right. All right. So, call in and stop bluffing. Yeah, they're not going to call in. They're not going to call in. Big Shirley. See, on Facebook, they can watch the show calling. Where's Big Pearly? Big Shirley, what, how y'all doing on Facebook? Um, oh, yeah, I forgot. Let's do it this way, too. Um, where'd I put the phone? Hold on. Where'd I put the Oh, here it is. Y'all want to bring IG in to this joker now? Let's see if we can bring IG in. I'm not going to lie. Instagram doesn't really like to have its stuff live streamed the same way, but we're going to see if we can bring it in. What I'm going to try to do is bring in some IG callers if I can't necessarily get them on the screen. So let's do this. That's right, goddammit. Your godfather is taking, you got me on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. I was out in the field in Miami filming the podcast, filming the TV show, filming all kind of stuff, taking it to the next level, applying pressure, baby. Let's get it. 
YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. Instagram? How you doing, Instagram? Here's what we're talking about. It's the smoke show. If you've got an issue or something with the things that I say, only the things that I say or the things that I do, feel free to come in. Now, you won't be necessarily on the show on YouTube, but you will be able to be heard. And like I said, only people who have disagreements, only people who have disagreements, uh, that's muted. So, shout out from Melbourne. Peace out. What's going on? I'm also going to see if I can bring, and this is for the ladies only. Um, let me pop back over here on YouTube to read some comments and questions. See, I tell you, people can say what they want about me, but I will take on my critics and detractors. But just because you're a critic or detractor doesn't mean you get to come over here and monologue like a James Bond villain. See, one of the big problems a lot of women have that have with me is I won't let people just sit here and ramble on. You got to get to the point. You won't let somebody just talk. Not about nothing. You got to get to the point. Uh, let's go. Request to join. Man, I don't know why some of you do. Some of y'all, some of y'all got these freaky ass uh, photos, man. You got some freaky ass photo on Instagram. I am not going to click on you. Some of y'all need Jesus, man. Some of y'all need Jesus. Some of these dudes need Jesus. I'm like, what the hell are you doing, man? I am, here we go. Let's do it. Let's do it. Who's going to be on the Instagram call? You can't camp, you can't cam up over here. Hello, how are you? Hi. First name? Sasha. Sasha. Okay, why don't I know what the fuck I'm talking about? Okay. Uh, I, I don't uh, why 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 I don't think females and males. Hold on, you can hold on, you can't overtalk me. Okay. I before I answer the question, I don't know in what what realm you're referring to. You think men get more what? That's not what I've never, where have I ever said that? Where have I said that? I mean, I guess well, I don't care what you're trying to get from me. I don't care what you're trying to get from, no, see, you can't over talk me. See, I can't be responsible for what you divine from the elements. I'm responsible for the words that come out of my mouth. See, that's what a lot of women want to do. They want to take what you say. They want to take what they want to take what you say and and twist it around, ma'am. How are men and women equal? How are we equal? Seeing as though I say we're not equal, we're not. How? How? How are we equal? Okay, we're both human beings, but in what tangible ways are women and men equal? Okay, we live and we die and we have a circulatory system, but what tangible ways outside of existence are men and women, male and female, equal? No, no, see, no, 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 see what I cannot do is have you asked me to answer a question and you answer my question with a question. See, what you're showing is that you have a weak argument. This is about a feeling. This is about a feeling. I'm asking you in what tangible ways are men and women equal? I'll tell you how we're unequal. I'll tell you how we're unequal. I'll tell you how we're unequal. We're taller. We're stronger. We're smarter. We built the world you live in. Without us, you die. Without you, we just can't reproduce. We don't need you. 
You need us. You carry life that we give you. Men produce, women can multiply what we give you. The world you live on, are you on an Android or an iPhone? I'm on an iPhone. Okay, uh, name me five great female inventors. There are none. Do you know why? Because there are not many. Name me five. Name. So, no, 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 no. You asked. You asked. You you asked me how. You, uh, hold on, hold on. You asked how are men and women not equal, and I just ran down a list of things. Now you answer my question. No, no, no. I answered your question. This is fair play. I answered your question. Fair play is now. You tell me. No, no. I can't even get my goddamn question out. Now, if you keep doing that, I will bid you a good night. In what ways are men and women equal in your mind? So what I'm trying to say, so you understand, from watching you, somebody I was talking to in the past, watching, right? And from what I saw is that I don't... In what ways are men and women equal? Ma'am, you're, you're, ma you're telling me... No, you can't, you can't because you're not, you're not answering the question. You're just, you're talking about, I've heard you say somebody told me to what? Can you please be direct? In what ways are men and women equal? In a relationship, we are equal. I think that a man deserves more respect than a woman in a relationship. And what I mean by that is like, the things a man can do, the woman can't do. Because he's providing, because he's a high value man. I want you guys to understand something, audience. This woman is trying to, I'm, I gave her a long list of things showing how we're unequal. And she's telling me, no, no, I'm talking to the audience, please. Give me a second. And, and you're telling me that after everything I've gone through, no matter what continent, what era, these things are the same. She's saying in a relationship, we are equal. Okay, I'm going to challenge that. Um, what percentage of the financial load does a typical woman carry in dating in a relationship? Oh, no, 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 man, it does matter. No, 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 no. What percentage of the financial load does a woman tend to carry in a dating relationship? Not most of the money. Excuse me? Usually not most of the money. The so, men, so men contribute an unequal share of the money. Okay. What? Hold on, ma'am. I'm asking questions because I tried to give you a way to answer but you can't answer, so I'm going to ask you questions. What do women contribute in excess of in a relationship? Not equally. Love, in tender, and care. Love. Tender, and care. Tender, and care. How do you... Excuse, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's... I'm going to challenge that. Do women fall in love sooner or later than men in a relationship? Really? So, so, so in other words, gentlemen, you contribute the resources. You contribute the things that, that, that but way they pay us back is their love matters more than ours. So if we love you, your love counts more than my love. Okay, then you can't say that you contribute more love. See, I can say I put in more money. No. You said love, tender, and care, and that's nothing you can take to the bank. There is nothing you can take to the that is nothing you can take to the bank. That's nothing tangible. It's a feeling. What do women contribute? What do women contribute in a dating relationship at an unequal level? Because men have to contribute at unequal levels in dating relationships. I mean, not every woman that's dating a high value man has nothing to do with high value, so move that over there. Take, take the high value buzzword over there. We're not even talking about that. Take the high value. What do women contribute to a dating relationship at an unequal level? What do they give that's more? Um, they feed you. They do everything. You don't feed you, uh, man. Okay. They feed you. Hey, I want you to understand. You, feed, to, to feed you, that means you'd be cooking, right? Excuse me, ma'am. In a dating relationship, 
Are most women cooking or most women going out to eat? Yes, dating. I mean, it depends. Uh, uh, that depends. Anytime a woman says it depends, anytime a woman says it depends, they're admitting they lost. Yep, yep. You do. Anytime a woman says it depends, they're admitting they lost. Man, it doesn't depend. It doesn't depend. Again, it doesn't depend. So, folks, understand something. I want you guys to understand. How many times women get upset because they want to be equal when it suits them? I want equality when it benefits me, but then treat me like a lady. All right, where are you contributing like a man? And nothing that I'm going to, where are you contributing more than a man? Because she can't say love because that means her love costs more. Sex, you get sex back. The reality, ladies, is the relation. Dating is a value exchange, and men get the get the short end of the value stick. That's why dating is dumb, especially for men. Men aren't really getting any value out of dating. Too easy. Too easy. All right, one more Instagram. We're gonna go back to Streamyards. Too easy. Uh, well, you're not on camera, so I'm not going to allow you to be on my show if you're not on camera. I mean, she tried, though. I give her that. I give her that. She tried, but she, uh, and then she seemed like she was drinking a little something, too. Look, don't come in here trying to, men and women are equal. You can't even make, you can't even make the argument. I'm not, I'm not trying to be funny, but I want you guys to understand how often the women get upset. They Think about this. Women, want, women like her want equality, but then if you gave them the equality they want, how many of these women would start running for the hills? You want to be equal? You want to be the same equal number of the homeless, the dangerous jobs, the self-deletions, the, uh, you know, the heavy labor, all that stuff? No. When given a choice, Women choose, have chosen to do the things that they like to do, more comfortable or suited at doing. The problem is women like her, they want to be compensated and thought of equally for doing what they do. I want you to think about how many managers want to be compensated like the CEO, but they don't have the same responsibilities. Nope, that don't work. So I got three I got three shows coming, three smoke shows coming. All smoke all day. Let's see if you can get back on now. All smoke all day. Instagram. Here we go. All smoke all day. 2000 on YouTube and 2000 on Facebook. Are you, have you been on here before? Okay. How are you? All right. What's the disagreement? What don't What don't I know? What the hell I'm talking about? So I was actually following along with you at first, and you had me, uh, especially with that caller uh, specifically, because last time we spoke, remember I said it was a blunt approach, and she was, you know. Anyways, um, so you had me, and I was like, right. I was following along with what you were saying, but then you brought in. Um, What about birth? So fucking. I mean, okay, okay. Uh, make, why do women want credit for doing what your body's made to do? So? So in that sense, that's the only thing. Like, it threw me off because I'm just like, well, there for like that 
No, no, no. Women, let's be honest. Do, most women want to be given exceptional credit for being for carrying children. Yeah. Bullshit. Yeah. You carry less children than women of old, and you want more credit. Women of old used to carry children, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten children, or get out there and work in the field. You got modern women today who act like carrying one baby is uh, like building the Eiffel Tower. You got air conditioning and you got air conditioning and zinc oxide. Your body is meant to do it, and y'all don't even do it as well as the women who were in slavery. Okay, I got. I don't. Okay, we can't. Re, we can't. Re, we can't go back to. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We can't go back to previous conversations. We got to stay on task because the audience won't know. You know. See. I want you guys to understand that modern I want you guys to understand I want you guys to understand that modern women when losing an argument they would go to because we can women want possibility to count as much as probability just because women can do something they want the fact that they can do it to count as much as actually getting it done there was a on something on another channel today when I was talking to this woman who's a feminist and she kept talking about how women can do this and women can do that and women can do we don't care what you can do what do you do you're not our equal you have so what you have so what what does you one person exactly statistically that's all that matters you ladies like to take conversations about general topics and make it about you individually. That's the narcissism and uh, uh, ego level of so many women today. The world doesn't revolve around you. The world doesn't revolve around you. When I talk about women, I ain't talking about you. Don't nobody care. You're one woman on the planet. Because you, that is how arrogant the modern women have become. You think the rock, y'all think because you can carry a baby, you, excuse me, you think because you can carry a baby and have a vagina, that makes you a god. It makes you a mammal. We do. It makes you a mammal. A cat can carry a baby. It means nothing. 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 And, and more and more women need, and more and more men need to start telling these women, just because you can have a kid doesn't make you special. It makes you a female. Y'all all, want for all this fucking credit for, we, men build skyscrapers and nuclear power plants just because they can have sex and reproduce. They think this is, they, they think they're inventors. They think they're, in, no, no. Women think they're inventors because they can give birth. You can't even do that without us. We give you the spark of life. We're not equal. We're not equal. We're just not equal. Women actually think that it's like, well, he made the Mona Lisa. You made the Mount Rushmore. Uh, this is particle fusion. This is space travel. This is virtual reality. I had a baby. I've heard women say that when men are sitting around talking about the things that they created with their mind out of nothing. I've heard women try to come in and sun inventors. Well, you guys think that just because you can come up with these machinations and this and that, it pales in comparison to a woman. It was even in Terminator 2. Sarah Connor tried that shit when she talked to Miles Dyson, talking about it's men like you who made it. Just some point. Chick, you had a baby. The problem is today, far too many of you women think you're fucking special. You're not special. You're just a woman. We're not. A, you're going to rank us? The only group of women. Think about how arrogant women are today. Your great-great-grandmother had eight children, 
and she had to go out and wash white women's floors and pick cotton and beans and everything else. And she still came home and still found a way to make dinner for her kids and her husband and do all the stuff today. Y'all act cause like y'all have one freaking baby. You get pregnant with one baby and y'all, oh, I'm so tired. Oh, 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 I need to take my zinc and my this and my that. And I need to go get, one of the worst, worst things that ever happened to, uh, to America is the, the parental mommy thing, the mommy complex. When they start making mommy magazines and all these helicopter ass parents, this is what's going on in China with the little kings. And, the, and they got all that power over a kid. Yeah, of course you're going to try to make it seem special. I made a baby. So what? We appreciate it. But you don't get extra credit. You made a baby. We gave you an epidural. You made a baby. Okay, we got to pay for that joker. Oh, and they get mad when you say that shit too. Ugh. He must hate his mama. My mama's probably cracking up. So my mama thinks some of y'all are some of the weakest ass. They're like, what do these women think they special because they had a baby? Mm -hmm. My daughter loves it too. So yeah, I know she's probably cracking up like, dang, dad. That's right. This is why I love being from Oklahoma. Go on a farm. And you want to see how special birth is? Go on a farm. Pigs do it every day. Cows, chickens. Well, not chicken. Cows. All animals get <laughs> They're going to be mad at that one. He compared us to poultry. He compared us to, to farmyard animals. No, I compared you to other animals. How dare him? Your mama black. Does he not know? Oh my God, and I'm gonna tell you right now, that's why he, he's gay, he's gay. You know how many, anyway, that gay. Leave your pretty friend around me, let's see how long that lasts. That's why I, Big Shirley, Big Shirley love calling me gay. Big Shirley love calling me gay. Just because my erection doesn't work around you, Memphis, you Mississippi variants, doesn't make me gay. It makes me heterosexual and my eyes work. I don't wanna bang a 300 pound blonde chick with a face tattoo and Cartier, fake Cartier glasses on. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god y'all know what i'm talking about looking like <laughs> oh my god oh my god oh who was that it was it was uh young thug lil wayne birdman that chick looked like birdman talking to me chick you look like birdman calling me gay Heterosexual men don't want to bang bird man ass face women. Mississippi variants, dude. I'm telling you, the Mississippi variants is a bitch. I wish I could pull up a picture. I'm going to post it on my story because I responded to a Mississippi ass variant. <laughs> Lifestyle on the track, bitch. <laughs> oh my God. Lifestyle. <laughs> Every time y'all see one of the Mississippi ass variants, y'all just go. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh my God, I'm gonna go to hell. Oh my God, I'm going to hell. Oh, I see you in the stream yards. Yeah, yeah. Only time when the mic give me to get kicked, but yeah, yeah. Light down on the track, bit. <laughs> She probably took a comment down because she know I'm about to just flame her up. Knife down on the track, bit. Hello. No. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead and get you something to eat. I'm going to bounce you back out. Come back when you finish eating. Do we need to get the knife down? 
came up from the bottom. I don't know the words. I'm tapping it, make me again. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, oh! I'm sorry. I'm looking for that post. I'm a post. I'm a. I'm going to post it up there. She probably took it down. Looking like Birdman Jr. Birdman Jr. <laughs> Birdman Auntie. <laughs> oh, my God. You guys are horrible. I am going to have nothing but coal in my, in my Christmas uh, sock. My Christmas stocking will not be hung by the chimney with care. She going like, I'm going to put some doo-doo in your Christmas stocking. I can't stand you. How you going to call me Birdman Jr.? I worked for six weeks to get them Cartier glasses. Them Cartier glasses was the shit. I got that buffalo horn. That shit ain't buffalo. Buffalo horn. That shit is donkey. You got them donkey horn Cartier. <laughs> buffalo horn. Made out of authentic donkey ass. <laughs> oh, Big Shirley, don't get mad at me. I got beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes, lamb, rams, hogs, dogs, <laughs> chicken, turkeys, rabbits. You name it! <laughs> All right, let's get back to Instagram. Knife down on the track, bitch. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God, oh, my God. Oh, oh my God, I'm going to hell. <laughs> smoke show. Smoke show, smoke show, smoke show. These can be kind of fun. Yeah, you still got to, you guys are pointing at the ceiling. Knock down on the track, bitch. Wow, y'all know that shit's funny. Y'all know that shit's funny. I'm sorry, I don't care who you are. That shit's funny right there. You guys know I've actually had some offers to go do stand-up comedy? I thought it was kind of hilarious. I'm like, wow. I don't know if I could do it. I mean, I, I have a lot of respect for comedians. You know, uh, people who actually sit there and write jokes. That's why I've never done it, because I'm not a comedian. I, I can be funny situationally, but like actual comedians, I got a lot of respect for comedians, because to, if you've actually seen somebody really write a joke, that's that's a talent, man. That's, and that's the reason I never. That's why I never argue with comedians. Comedians have called me some of the worst shit. I just take all that. I'm not gonna argue with no comedian. That's a badass way to go out. You wanna get you wanna get jacked up? Argue with a comedian. Oh, I'm sorry. The camera's not on over there. There it is. I'm sorry, Facebook. So let's talk about the roast show. Roasting myself. All right. Smoke show. First thing I'm a roast is myself for men got so angry with me for having on Britney Renner. And they were right. They were right in their own way because they're like, why are you going to have a woman who's as liberal and wild and free as Brittany Renner? Um, and it really doesn't matter why I did it in their minds. And I had to think about this. I'm like, you know, just like I was talking about Russell Wilson and Sierra, just like I was talking about Devin Franklin and Megan Good. And Alicia and Steph Curry, black people, black men in particular, we don't have any real choice at this point that we all share one same ethnic image. So like it or not, we all feel connected to if you do it over there, it reflects over here. So I get why they were mad. So you kind of kind of take that. You got you going your people think my audience is just a bunch of mindless drones and you guys are couldn't be further from the truth. This is one of the few spaces online where the audience holds you accountable. Our audience holds us accountable. You fuck up, you're you're not you're not consistent. You step out of line, and the avalanche will come down on you. That's why I laugh when people like these all in Kevin Samuels comments. These little Kevin Samuels drones ain't no goddamn Kevin Samuels drones. I say something that don't line up or something, their ears are like this. No man, that's some bullshit. And you know what? I love that about being a man because we need more of that as black men, keeping each other on code and honest and that kind of stuff. I get it. And as a man of, and if you're going to be a man, you're going to be a man worth something. You got to take criticism. 
That's why I do these smoke shows because I want to hear the criticism. I really, but I want to hear honest criticism. I don't want to just hear you say, I don't like the way you, your tone, just because you just said nicer. Okay, I've heard that before. But honest criticism, like how you use the platform, the message, what's the overall intent? Now, I will say that there's still a business element behind this, and there are going to be decisions I make that may not make a lot of sense, but make no mistake. You're catching heat from your... If, if I'm a CEO, the, my followers, my, I don't even call them followers, the Academy, my family, I call the, my Patreon, my family, and I call the members on the uh, YouTube, uh, the Academy, the CIA Academy, the FBI Academy, they are like the, they are the stockholders. And from a person who owns one share or if they own a lot of shares, they all have a say because this is, this is theirs too. If I'm a publicly traded company, you got to listen to your shareholders because the stupidest thing you can ever do as a man, the dumbest thing you can ever do is to start thinking you're fucking special. I ain't special. The things I say I've heard in boardrooms, uh, basketball courts, barbershops, corners, whatever. I just have a unique way of saying it and lightning ha happened at the bottom. That's why you never hear me talking about I'm up here. I'm just, I'm a, a, a guy from Oklahoma. One of the worst things you do is start thinking, believe in your own hype and taking your ear off the street. That's why you see me popping around YouTube here today. I'm in this channel, I'm in that platform because this is not a fucking game to me. Are he just doing this to make money and tell black? If I wanted to make money, I'll tell you guys something too. Facebook, Facebook in particular, because more women on Facebook and Instagram. If I wanted to make money, if I wanted to make money, you know what? Here's what I would do if I wanted to really make money. I would switch up and start telling women what they want to hear and start being um, LGBTQ, uh, I, don't, I don't say friendly, but... Um, those are two large, two large demographics. And I got nothing against the LGBTQ plus community. No offense, I just don't remember all the acronyms. But I have to say what I have to say. They got plenty of representation over there. They don't need any more advocates. And women, you got plenty of advocates too. Men have no advocates or very few advocates. And men are, are hypersensitive about having somebody that's really on their side. Um, I don't say this shit because it's popular. And it damn sure ain't easy. You pay a high price to that. Why do you pay a high price? Every time I say something, I'm being, I get called gay so much. I'm like, well, what point do y'all realize you're going to just have to do, when they call you gay, they're basically just saying, I don't like what you're saying. That's all it comes down to. And I'm going to tell you this, black women, y'all better stop playing with men. You better stop calling black men or men gay just because. And women are finally starting to admit they do that to trigger a man, but it's, it, has, it starts to have less and less effect. Number one, number two, that whole sign language thing. If you ladies were smart, you'd understand that this is a good space. This is a good space and this is a good place to be. Um, it's a good space and a good place to be. Oh, I can't see you. I can't see you in the dark. This is a good place and a good space to be, but it's imperfect. The men's content spa space is imperfect. And you're going to have to allow, we as men in general, black men in particular, to be imperfect in public while we figure it out. That's why I said the other day I was on Lapeef. All you all talking about, no matter what, the black men are the leaders, you're the black men are the leaders, you're the black men are the leaders of the community. That's right. But like I asked them, as a woman, what black man are you following? And if it's just your father, your brother, your uncle, your cousin, don't talk to us. What black men are you following that you ain't related to? Hello, how are you? Hello, hi, I'm fine, how are you? I'm good, uh, how, how old are you? I'm 33. All right, what's your disagreement? I will be honest with you, quite frankly, my only disagreement is I was in the military and you talk a little low, so this is why I'm on StreamYard, because it's louder. I. So you don't have a disagreement? No. Oh, okay. No. Have I a good day. Okay. Um, yeah. Because this whole thing about the black community where I fell and this and that, and it's ultimately our fault. 
Look, black women, black people are grappling with freedom. Shout out to Obsidian. Grappling with freedom. And you cannot keep telling black men that we are the leaders and you're not following a black man. That's why so many brothers get upset when they see depictions of Russell Wilson and, and all these other men who cannot seem to control their own households. It's supposed to mean something to be a goddamn wife and a mother. I don't care what you were before. Look at Cardi B. Cardi B is out, will do her, do her damn thing, but she, look at her around her kids. She keep her kids away from that shit. Black men do not want to be challenged in the world everywhere we go and then have to keep coming home to be challenged in our households. So stop telling black men, you the leaders, you the leaders. If you ain't, if you ain't <coughs> hit that kind of hard. If you ain't following nobody, if you're not really following nobody, damn, I hit that hard than the motherfucker. <laughs> Tamika, you ready? You can hear me? Uh, what? You're in the dark. I can't see you. That's the problem. I, you got to turn the camera around. I don't talk to nobody that's just in the dark. Okay, y'all kind of rude, man. <laughs> talk about it. Uh, yeah, you can't be in the dark, ma'am. I can't, I can't have you on the show. There you go. Got to turn on the light. That's another thing. We're talking about people who have a disagreement. Look, not all disagreements are good faith. There's a difference between when men have a disagreement with men, we try to come to a common ground. Far too often, women, you don't want to have come to common ground. You just want to be right. How many people have I had a disagreement with tonight that I've even come to a, prove their points wrong that they've said they were wrong? So we will always disagree as men and women. If you can't start to say you're wrong, you're not going to get anywhere with men. <clears throat> that, that's where the bottom line of that's going to go. Men are not going to just sit back and go round and round and round for distance and irritation. Uh, hello? Yes, sir. How old are you? I'm the total opposite of that. How old are you? 46. Okay. What's the disagreement? That when you were saying that women are, um, well, basically to me, some women to take men for granted when they think they too soft which is wrong to do because then they think women then, then they think men is doing the same thing to them but i'm the total opposite of but what's that. the what's the disagreement though i disagree with the fact that i'm not that woman like that i okay. love to take care of the man that i'm with the but you're not. But you don't have a disagreement with what I'm saying. Oh, that's what I thought you were saying. I'm sorry. I was turning off. I thought that's what you were saying. Okay. All right. Well, you don't have a disagreement with what I was saying. So, okay. Y'all crazy. Y'all knew it was coming. Not the bang. The bang. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. So disagreements. We'll keep doing that. I'm going to bring on Instagram. You got to be willing to listen to disagreements. And here's the thing. I find it funny that people, you, 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 when somebody disagrees, you got to show the run. You got to get it out. Do you guys not understand that most people really don't have a strong disagreement on the facts? It's really just a feeling. I'm not going to just let it go on and on and on when it's really, I just don't feel, I feel some kind of way about what you're saying. That's not an argument. That's not an argument. I feel some kind of way about what you're saying. Okay. All right. We're going to let this go for another about 
shoot, we got we to start a little bit late. I'll let this go for another 20 minutes or so. Uh, let's see, Facebook. Facebook, Facebook, Facebook. This is my first live. So I got, on Facebook we have, how many, how many viewers do we have on Facebook? Jesus, how many? Uh, oops. Show the comments. Uh, so on Facebook, we got, we have 2,500. We got fewer now. Then on Instagram, we have like 35, 3,700. And on YouTube, we have 18,000. So we got like 20 some odd thousand. Look, you want to start having less problems with men? especially black women, start saying, start saying yes to everything. Start saying yes. And then, and then stop, um, start saying yes to, th to, to things and wait. Why is the weight issue such a big deal with women? The two biggest issues I hear with, with women today who don't like my content is the notion of weight and the notion of children. Why? Why is that such a trigger for modern women when you know that these things matter to men? Hello? Hello? How are you? Good night, I'm well. How are you? I am well. Uh, how old are you? I'm 26. All right, so what's the disagreement? Well, like, okay, you were commenting earlier about how men essentially, like, develop the world, and that's true. I would agree with that to an extent. What I would ask, though, is... To an extent? Well, yes, but I would add, I would add to that to say that I think that, well, I don't think, but men also have contributed to, like, a lot of other groups not being able to contribute to the development of civilization. For example, like women couldn't vote, women couldn't own property, women couldn't like be a part of certain professions. So? And that was okay, in large okay, part. Okay, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Do women have it better today than they've ever had it? Right, no, but I'm, I'm, I'm talking, uh, yes. Okay, are you, okay. What are women not able to do today? Well, I wasn't talking about now. I was, I was. Well, ma'am, this is the time we live in. No, but I'm, I'm, I'm contributing to your point about how men created the world. I'm, yes. I'm saying that there's a back, there's a background to that. I, I don't think it's accurate to just make those general statements. Yes, without... it is accurate. Who created the world, men or women? But I'm saying that those, I'm saying that those men, those same men created systems and laws and norms. So to prevent what? Women there's from always going to be war. There's conflict is part of the human condition. You're 26. A hundred, a thousand years ago, most men died in what? In wars. Thank you. Do we have those? Not as much anymore, no. No. So the arguments you're making is men have made structures. Men have also civilized the world in general to where you can do anything you want to almost as a woman and walk down the street. If you decided to get in your car and drive to the local convenience store. I mean, to this, some extent, women There's no to some that, extent. Though. There is no to some extent. Women you fought were, for that to some extent. You, were, you didn't fight for shit. Fight we for gave this. it to you. Women, women, women didn't fight for we gave it to rights. we gave women it to you. Women, women didn't fight for it. We gave it, it to you. Suffrage was a man. Men gave you the right to vote. You didn't fight for shit. It was given to you. History is a, is a tricky thing, ma'am. They can say they fought. You asked and we gave it. Okay, ma'am. Can I you want to have a conversation? If you want to, no, 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 hold on, 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 hold on. You can't over talk me. You can't over fucking talk me. That won't work. That is one thing. It says it in the See, that's when I start to get like tyrannical. Why do you think you can over talk me? I don't understand why y'all think that's going to be okay. Make your point. I was just saying that 
I'm just trying to make the point. So then, according to your argument, then that means that in slave slaves did not fight for their freedom either. White people just gave it to them. They didn't. That's right. So you believe that? Uh, yes. What sl slaves rebelled? But did they? The Haitians had excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Facts are stubborn things. Until the Emancipation Proclamation was signed in the 13th Amendment, it doesn't matter how many Nat Turner rebellions happen. Facts are stubborn things. Prior to the suffrage, women had suffrage movements and women have been fighting for the right to vote since we had a constitution. Until you were given the rights by whom? Well, then that's exactly my point. Yes, you were given. You didn't fight for them. I'm saying that that's my, exactly my point, though. My point is that a lot. I, I just think that it's like you make these broad generalizations without taking Bro into consideration. Broad general. Okay, what is a broad generalization? What is a generalization? Like the things you were saying to the woman earlier about oh, men did this, men did that. One. No, 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 no. What is a generalization? Define what a generalization is. When you just make a statement that is like broad in, in its kind of scope. What is a, okay. Uh, uh, somebody did not want to give her help because I don't think she's getting it. Is a general, a generalization. Do you know what a generalization is? When you said earlier, this is what. Generalization, a general statement or a concept determined by inference or a specific case. Action of generalizing. That means you make a broad statement about a topic because it's, excuse me, if you fucking over talk me one more time, I'm going to have to drop you. <laughs> Is this funny to you? No, it's not. I just said. Because I can make it funny. I can make it funny to my audience if you want to. I the problem is, the problem is women don't, the problem is women don't like generalizations. See, women like you like special snowflakes in nuance. But like it or not, all you have to have to make a, a generalization is a majority. A generalization is broad because it has to cover a broad swath. How do you have a conversation about seven plus billion people? How do you have a how do you have a accurate conversation about so many people? Sir, I just said the word. Uh 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 uh. uh, uh. Sir, sir ma'am, how do you, you have? Told me I was inaccurate. You don't like generalizations. You make broad generalizations. Okay, gonna continue to do it too. Uh, where are no, you from? I, I was I'm. I'm I make broad generalizations. Gonna continue to do it, just like I can say. No, I was today. just. I'm saying I did. I'm saying I do. I'm not saying you do. What's your next point? No. Well, I mean, that was. Again, I was just trying to say that. Um, I was just trying to add on to what you were saying earlier. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Mankind causes I, another, problems. Another thing I would ask, right? I get it. Mankind causes problems and mankind also corrects systems. That's what happens. Man, man makes problems. Man corrects problems. Man makes systems and systems oppress. Systems also free. Uh, my question is this. You ready? Because that's basically what you're saying. I'm not... What system works better? Which system are you referring to? Well, it's like you said, people had to fight for stuff. People, people, slaves and women for the right to vote. You can fight for it, but it was still granted a freedom. Systems exist to govern people. People must be governed. Imperfectly, I grant you, but they must be governed. What system would you propose? system of governance and the system of relationships. I'm not sure what system. Yeah. Let's talk about a system of governance. I mean, I like democracies. Is that what you're referring to? We're, I like, no. I like democratic system of government. Uh-huh. Do we live in a democracy? I, I think so. Yeah. We live in a Republic, a democratic Republic. By the you are ruled by the majority rules, the minority is protected. Representative government, mm -hmm. two senators from each state, 
And then people elected to Congress based upon the proportion of the population of the city and of the states. It's imperfect. Human beings don't do anything perfectly. So how we got here is, I think we have a lot of interesting things. One of the things I love about being the, the leader of the feminist party is I get to look at all the feminists and, and rile them up because a lot of feminists want equality when the, when the feminism ultimately was not ever about equality, it was about choice. So um, if you have any other disagreement, go ahead and make your next point. I would ask about like, okay, so you had said at one point that um, like women should be willing to like during a certain number of dates, they should be prepared to be intimate with the person after a first date or a second date. But then you would say things like, oh, well, you have used vagina. So it's like, which is it? Should I not have a used vagina or should I give it up on the first and second date? Like, I don't understand that. What do you mean you don't understand? Those two things could be the same. Two things could be true. But you made it sound negative. Hold on, hold on. See, you have a problem. You'll talk and then it's my time to talk and I start speaking. You start over talking. Why does that? Why is that okay to you? I apologize. No, but I'm going to ask, is that how, I mean, why is that all right with you? You hear me talking. It's not all right. I'm sorry. And why is this such a big deal? Because our, our women just have so little respect for us. They just think they, men don't do that with one another because men would come to physical conflict if we, we treated each other this way. Two things can be true at the same time. You should not go out with a man who you are not, sexually attract uh, to a man you would not have sex with. You should go on first date. You go on the first date to determine whether or not there's chemistry there or connection to where if there's another date, you shouldn't go out on a second date with somebody you are not sexually attracted to and would have sex. Because to men, dating equals sex. So the problem today is women are not being fair dealing. You're not just dating one man at a time. Maybe you are, but most women aren't just talking and dealing with one man. They're de dealing with multiple men and, and, and bouncing around and, and dangling the possibility of sex in front of a man or, not even, or, or just knowing they're not interested in having sex, period. Ultimately, you know what men want is the truth. Are you going out with me because you're really interested in me and want, and want what I want? Are you here for me to actually incent you to be with me? Now, that's the dating notion. That means you don't have to date that many people. You don't have to go out with on a first date or a second date or a third date with a guy. You get to choose. But like it or not, men don't want women who've been ran through either. No one wants to marry the town hole. Well, that's what I would ask then, because what if it what if what if it is that a person goes goes on a date with somebody and for whatever reason, maybe lack of chemistry or whatever, but then they it's like you're also villainized. Like even if you on one date, you, you get a date, you get a date. Nobody's gonna villainize you for going out with somebody no, that you no you have, no uh, one's going to villainize no no one's going to villainize you. No. God damn. No one's going to villainize you for going out with somebody on a date and you don't have attraction. Guess what? I've gone out with people that I'm not attracted to either. You get a date. We're talking about multiple dates. See, the problem is, audience, women play dumb. And men are tired of women playing like y'all don't know what the hell's going on. Well, I wasn't playing dumb. I was trying to... I didn't say you. I said women. I didn't say you. I don't know you. I said, but men are tired of women playing dumb because women do play dumb. You act like women act like they don't understand this. But when it's time to go get what women want, they know how to get it. Is the ultimate question? My ultimate question is this: What do you want from a man in a relationship? Do you want to be married one day? Yes. Do you want children? I think I would have one. Who's helping you effectively sort or vet men? helping me vet men. I guess I have to do that myself. There you go. That's the problem. Ding, 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 ding. I agree. Yep. Because you can't even have a conversation without over-talking a man. Good luck with that. 
Buy a dog right now. Get dog insurance and a chew toy. I need you ladies to understand that over talking shit. If men were to over talk men, eventually the talk stops between us and chairs and furniture starts to move because that is disrespectful to us. So when you're, uh, when you're a female, you're smaller, your voice is lighter. You have to actively choose to try to dominate a man verbally. It is offensive to us. You don't have the deeper voice as we do. Your voice doesn't project like ours. So you are trying to dominate a man. And men do not want to be dominated by other men and damn sure not by a woman. And for sure, not in public. You know what y'all think this is? All right, we've got a few more minutes. That's why a lot of guys are like, well, yeah, they act like they don't know what we're doing. What? That don't over talk me. They know it. They know they hear me talking. Jessica. Okay, Jessica and Tanya, you are the last two. If you want to get on, you can get on, but you got to stay on camera. Oh, no, you already on. Kick. Boo. Uh, don't come back in here. Uh, Rain Meadows, please don't come back. And Vic, please don't come back. I'm trying to get through this. Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm well. You have you? you have YouTube on in the background or something? No, actually it's okay. Be on. So how old are you? How old are you? Sorry. I'm thirty seven. All right. So oh, so what's the dispute? Um, I agree with a lot of the stuff that you say, honestly. Um, but? But <laughs> uh, I feel like women have a very sacred role in the family dynamic. And to undervalue that is a disservice how do I undervalue a woman's role in the family? Uh, being able to bear life. <laughs> that is not something that comes easy. And it's something that's, I don't feel like. Excuse should... me. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. How do I under, being able to bear life? It's just what you. Uh, excuse me, excuse here. me, excuse me, excuse me. 2021. Do women have more children today than they did a hundred years ago? No. So were women back then three times, five times better than the women today because they had multiples more kids? I yes, would say that they were probably. I, I'm, oh, oh, no, ma'am, no, no, no. Based upon no, no. I want you to be specific. Simply upon the ability to have children. If you have three children and a woman had ten, does that make her three times better than you because she had more children? Yes. No, no, sir. No, sir. Okay. No. So, so the amount of children, so just because you can have one, so, so you having one makes you just as special as a woman who can have 10. Yes or no? I, yes or no? Yes or no? I, I can't answer that. With yeah, you can. Yeah, you can because it's special. If you say it's valuable, then there's a value associated. So if one has mm -hmm. a value, if you assigned a value to one child is 10, then having 10 children has 10 times 10 is 100. Well, so, as, as far as population, yes, it is. It is more. Okay. Yes. So, so is it more valuable? So, is it more valuable? Is a woman who produced more children more valuable than a woman who has less children? Can be. Can no, be. no, not can be. See, <laughs> see, see, see this, this is a problem. People, women don't want to. They don't want to be honest. So you already started. Yes. No, 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 no. I it not can be. No, not can be. It's either they are or they are not. I, I can honestly say yes, but you know what? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm making, see, you won't let me get to my point. So my point is, 
You say women who make who make more children are more valuable according to your ability to bear life kind of thing. So no. why? No, that's what you just said, <laughs> ma'am. Y'all see where I'm going with this? No. You see where I'm going with this? You see where I'm going with this? She's already got herself in a trick bag. <laughs> see, men back no. in the day, men, men, she already got herself in a trick bag. Women no. 100 years ago were more valuable than their asses. They had more no. children. They had more children and they delivered more value. Uh, and men back and men back th and men back there made less. See, you're not going. You're not going to come at me with this because we can bear children. We're special. No, it just makes you human. Undervaluing it. The problem is you guys damn near deify yourself because you can have a baby. That doesn't make you special. You, hold on, you're talking to yourself. You're talking to yourself. Ma'am, the reason why I had to mute you is because you said that I undervalue a woman's ability, of a woman's place in the family. That's not true. I said that giving birth does not make you special. It just makes you human. And today, oh, and today women statistically bear less children than they did even 50 70 or 100 years ago those numbers are factual mm -hmm. so that means by virtue of your special paradigm you're less special than women back then mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. well tell me no no based on no 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 tell me then no tell me tell me you're more valuable based on the children paradigm you just set up it wasn't just the children paradigm. no no that's no. all we've got to that's all we've got to you said i devalued women because their ability to give birth. That's no, all we talked not, about. Nope. You, you said I devalue the woman's place in the family because I devalue the ability to give birth. No, I'm saying that's what I, that's what, I hear very well, ma'am. If you don't give me the opportunity to get a, a because you're not going to do an end around, that's what you said. I'm really trying to be clear about it, but I'm not able to speak. That's what you said. I'm being fair by saying what you said. I'm not able to fully express what I was trying to get across. If you're going to and say not, something different than what you said, that means you're changing your point. It's not something different. I, I'm trying to elaborate on it, but I don't. I don't talk over a man. I naturally don't. But go ahead that. and elaborate on the point of I, how I diminish a woman's place in the family by by. Men. You, go ahead. Go ahead. You you were talking about contributions. Contributions to society to history to civilization and in that way women contribute life no no ma'am no ma'am no ma'am see that's what i mean nope 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 exactly not you try to move the goalpost we're gonna stick right at the family nope nope you said i diminished a woman's place in the family you're not going to move the goalpost you're not going to move the goalpost stick to the stick to the goalpost stick to the goalpost or stick to the goalpost or good night <laughs> stick to the goalpost. <laughs> stick to the goalpost or good night. That come on. Stick to the goalpost or you just move the goalpost. You I'm not going to allow. I'm not going to allow you to move the goalpost. Stick to the goalpost or good night. It's not moving it though. You didn't. Yeah, we're not moving past the family, man. We're sticking to the family. You and said I diminished. You said I diminished a woman's place in the family by diminishing her ability because okay. I diminished her and ability to have children. Think no, no we're not. We're not going to her society. contribution to society and anything else. We're sticking in the why family not? because that's not the point you originally made. Because you can't win that one. That's why you're moving the goalposts. I'm not. I'm not. Yeah, you are. You're trying to, and that's what happens. Trying to move the goalpost. Goalposts moved. You diminished her place in the family. Yeah, I want people to give you credit because you can have a baby. You talking to yourself, ain't nobody paying you no attention. Ain't nobody paying you attention. She's, she don't even know she's been muted. All right. So, just because you can have a baby, if y'all want credit for having babies, cool. But that just makes you human. It doesn't make you special. But if it does make you special, then you got to say women who can make more kids are more special. Because a man who makes more money is more valuable to society, to the family, his ability to provide, like it or not, a man who can provide and protect is more valuable than a man who can't. So if this is just a value exchange, see what women really today want, 
lazy modern women want credit for being female. What do they bring to the table? A lazy approach to dating, a lazy approach to mating, a lazy approach to being a wife. At best, you're going to get from women. You get my vagina, which comes standard on all models, and because my vagina and my womb are operational, I want you to pay $100,000 minimum. And I want to have, be able to work and stay at home and not to have to work to pay significant bills after I'm pregnant. I want to not have to com contribute more than 10% to the family financial structure. I want to be able to drive a Porsche truck and this and that while I'm having $1.5 million worth of kids so I can start a business if I choose to want to. Yeah, yeah, I think you're special. And what men are saying is, wait a minute, women back in the day made more babies and, had, and were less educated. Men back in the day were less educated and worked harder and they got more. And see, what women don't like is men today can say men are producing more than men back then. But women always say, I want a man back like they were back in the day. But y'all ain't women like y'all were back then. Women back then understood a man's place and a woman's place, and they didn't try to be our equal. They tried to be our support system. They liked being our helpmate. They knew that they had to go out in the world and work hard and do everything else. They didn't mind coming home to work hard because they valued a husband and they valued family. Women today bitch and moan about that kind of stuff. That's why you hear ain't nothing going on with the written city girls and turn up and bag and get the bag and all this other kind of stuff. And they are so pissed off that programs like this exist. And we're exposing this stuff to the world for people just to make a judgment on their own. We just have conversations in real time so the world can see it in front of the world. And the world can decide up or down. And that's what's happening. So appreciate everybody tuning in tonight. Thank you guys over. Uh, we're going to try one more on Instagram. We're just a little bit behind. Uh, Facebook. Y'all like the smoke show? Y'all like the smoke show? I was able to do the smoke show on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Taking it to the next level. Again, your godfather is willing to take on challenges. Only, only thing is you can't over talk and you got to get on point. You got to get on point. And, you, and like I said, if you want to debate me on what I say, that's one thing. If you want to talk about how what I say makes you feel, your issue is not with, is not with me. I really have nothing to do with how you feel about facts, data, and statistics that you can verify for yourself. But hey, I will say thank you. I will say thank you guys on, face, on Facebook. Um, the studio just shut down. Uh, let me make sure I do a, a proper sign off on Facebook. Appreciate you guys. Um, sorry, Facebook. Appreciate you guys. Until the next time, you'll see me more on Facebook. Uh, I'll be bringing in people from Facebook to, so you'll be able to join the Facebook live and talk to me on Facebook and it'll be showing on YouTube at the same time. Thank you guys very much. Yes, I want to see black men and black women together, but I want to see black women valuing black men as black men deserve to be valued. Black men, you are worthy. You have done great things in the last 20 or 30 years. You've taken your image back from cops, deadbeat dads and everything else. You've stepped up to the challenge and this is your time. This is your time. The gender war is over. Average at best happened in 2021. That is over. 2022, we're going into it. Self-awareness is sexy. Men are going to show the work and women are going to show their worth. We're going to move forward. To, we're going to move forward. And if you want to move forward together with us, men are there waiting for you. Men are there working for you. But you're going to earn your spot because he has to earn his value. And in that way, everybody's getting something in the deal. And if that's too much for you, <laughs> dial on. And if all the guys out there to leave the women alone, leave the woman alone, tell them, Jesse Lee. Beta. Jesse Lee, I'm going to send Jesse Lee out to get him. Jesse, Jesse go get him. Beta. Jesse, just, Jesse, get up off there, boy. Beta. Je what, what are you? <laughs> Stop talking about my mama. My mama. My mama. My mama. Hey, ladies, winter's coming. Winter is coming. Winter is coming. 
All right, we got to do this. We got to, it was cool. I got to get out of here. Happy holidays. If I don't see you guys, your godfather's gone from Facebook. The godfather is gone from Facebook. So Facebook is over. Um, so that's shut down on Instagram uh, on uh, that. All right, YouTube family, how we doing, man? Woo, talk about a marathon. That's work, baby. That's work. To the ladies who follow and are keeping down with the CIA, we love, I mean, with the FBI, Feminine Beautiful Inspirational. Have a happy holiday. Enjoy your family. Enjoy your eggnog and pecan pie and everything else. I, we appreciate the fact that you've come over here this year and heard some stuff that you probably don't like. You've heard some stuff you probably don't like. You've taken some shots that you probably weren't expecting. But for those of you who are hung in there and, and persevered and said, you know what? I may not like their tone. I may not like their delivery, but this is helpful. Thank you. We're only going to get bigger and better. This platform ain't about one man. It is about all of us. I got the guys, my platform, my people, keep me honest on it too. So to my critics and detractors, understand something. This ain't an echo chamber. You got fully fleshed out men and women over here who know what they want. I just happen to be the guy sitting behind this desk right now, but it ain't about me. It ain't about me. Like I said before, it's about all of us. I don't make any bones about it. I want to be successful. I want to be rich, but I say I want to do it by helping people get what they want, and I'm going to get what I want along the way. And what I want is you to go home and think about the year. I want you to if it's been an up year, I want you to think about how far you've gone. If it's been a little down year, I want you to think 2022 is around the corner. We all get to decide how we show up every day. And that's all we can do is to get up and show up. The harder you work, the luckier you get. All right, people, you know how it is. Until the next time, your godfather is gone. I got to go. Let's do it this way.